aka Omizi, to my right, left. There's an echo, but we won't address that. Uh, it... Yeah, absolutely. Is it me? I don't hear an echo. Oh, oh wait, a little bit. Yeah, never mind. I hear it. Um, Sage, how you doing today, man? I'm doing good. A little fatigued. I ain't gonna lie, but we ball will be fine in like 30 minutes. Um, yeah, Dwayne, you fucking suck at my hero. But no, uh, that's <laughs> oh, that's a, that's about it. But he's new. Shout out to Dwayne for joining up. A lot of you are cowards to play anything outside of Madden in 2K. So shout out to Dwayne for that. Uh, I want to go ahead and run a animal party, party animal, whatever that. Yeah, shit I did too. I did I wanna, too. I want to go ahead and run that. But again, y'all scary to play anything outside of Madden 2K. It's crazy. Is that a I, Nintendo game? No. No, I think mm. it's PC. Sounds like it. I'm a um I'm probably gonna make that happen on boys night. I'm having a boys night on my stream. It's me. I'm the boy. Fuck Drake. <laughs> um Damo, how you doing today? True. Uh, doing great. Do it. My fault. My fault. I was I'm, got a lot of shit trying to set up. Um, nah, I'm good, man. Great. Been a great day. Been a, been a, a fantastic day for real, for real. A lot of bullshit going on. But okay, okay, okay. Uh, be bobbly do the diddly day. Uh, be souls. How you doing this wonderful day? Doing good, man. Doing straight. Okay, okay. Omar, how you doing today, man? I'm good, man. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know what y'all got on right now, but uh, y'all don't got on jorts. If y'all don't got on. Get your jort game up, man. Nah, you didn't need to show that, man. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. Okay. Come on, man. You know I got joggers on. <laughs> that's um, man, get that's the tough. Get the jort game up. It's 40 degrees outside. Going to a flag football game tomorrow. I needed some jorts, man. The only nigga that rocked jorts in 2023 is John Cena. <laughs> what shoes are you wearing with that? What shoes uh, are you with slides. Mm. Oh, you mean currently? Like when I no, go out, no, like so when you go out to that football game tomorrow, and you wearing George, like what shoes are you rocking? Maybe these. Mm. Uh, <laughs> maybe like a thought. Maybe these. <laughs> nah, don't wear it over here. Boots and boots and Tim's. Boots and George. Uh, now that's crazy. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, boots and George is like the combo right now. But uh, you know, I uh, just depending on how I'm feeling. You know what the job is like. Oh, I'm supposed to get a smile. We got to get a smile for the updates page. All right, I think we got it. Uh, yeah, I think y'all need jorts too, but we'll have that conversation offline. Listen, if you're new to this and you want to be true to this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that join button. Make sure you hit all the buttons. I had a great day Sunday in the Discord where we watched WNBA basketball, talked about football, and then watched a scary movie orgy what how was your sleepover stream was that a part of your sleepover stream that wasn't a part of my sleepover stream the sleepover stream went good until my pc just decided to explode oh my god so yeah there's that but you know it is what it is we have to run it back now damn wait who all was invited um nobody i ain't gonna lie what what happened was i I ended up watching i was reacting to everybody you know, in the in the whole Bruce Kai rage situation, and then I reacted to an hour long hood vlog. Um, yeah, I know, right? And then I started watching some other stuff, playing some games of two K, and then before I knew it, it was like close to five in the morning. So I was like, "Fuck it, let's do some scary movies and let's just go to bed, man." And then my PC, went, you know, when a light bulb explodes. Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> that's what my shit was like. Wait, so what was your floor for the um? I didn't know you did a sleepover stream. What was the floor for the stream? I didn't know either. Like subs or the, the floor? No, the floor for the no, no, no. The floor for the viewers at like five in the morning. Uh oh, I go a lot. More people got up. The, the, Bro, the I, know, like, I popped up. in there because I woke up early that day for some reason. There was, was like, like call fifty five. Oh, yeah. oh That's what's up. right, right before, 65, 55, I about to say before I went to sleep, I was like yeah, 60, 70. Yeah, I, I don't yeah. know what was going on. It's Niggas fun. started. Yo, I got to go to work in the morning. It's good to see that you won. Good, I could just put you in my pocket. Me. I'm about to go to sleep, gang. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. My pocket is crazy. But I will say this: I will be tasting every rapper now. Yeah, that's a wild way to put it. How is that a wild way to put it? You talking about like candy wrappers? No, I'm thinking like, about rap snacks. Oh yeah. no, rap soda. I'm be uh. tasting on stream um, Wednesday for the boys' night, and dang, I did not want to 
start with the promo, but hey, we'll start with the promo. I'm going to be tasting all the rappers. Um, What's the I'll probably lineup put, looking like? Uh, let me show you right here. Let me show you right here. So, so far, I've got Boosie, Drake, Soulja Boy, Lil Baby, and Yachty. The pre-thumbnail is crazy, bro. Yeah. Tasting every rapper. I respect rapper. it, though. Yeah, this nigga is insane. I taught you well, you know what I'm saying? Thumbnail first, then title, then content. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Ah. He's on fire! <laughs> I had a great Jeez, week man. last week. <laughs> hey, Jeez, views man. wise, I had a great week. Yeah, so I know man. what's going on. Over here. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I hate these two with a passion. <laughs> I swear. You want money. <laughs> it's yeah, all it is what? behind the scenes, Chad. I swear. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Not create? Would How's you rather it change up or chain up? Come on, dog. Um, yeah. Oh, my God. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah. That's a new thing. Like, would the you the rather that, change up or chain up? When the wait, when y'all see how that started, bro. Oh my god, I hate this nigga be so. Nah, that's a fact. Nah, I ain't going. That nigga was like, nah, Sage. He chained up for real. Look at him. Oh my. That's a hundred, bro. We keep keeping it a hundred, bro. It's a lot of creating going on. Um, listen, man. Let's get right into the meat and potatoes, man. I don't want to. I don't want to dilly or dally anymore. Let's let's really give people what they want. Palestine or Israel, for real. Like, say it. I still don't know. I ain't gonna lie. I, Every I time mean, I see shit, I just kind of skip it. I am I'm not qualified, you. and that's not even PC. I don't know what the fuck going on. Good. <laughs> I mean, I'm on the, I, I'm on the winning side. So whoever winning, for real, for real. God's winning. No cap. I ain't gonna lie. They somebody in the space pulled up like the numbers of like how many people they took out on like each side. It's very lopsided. It's a very lopsided. Mm. No, because the other one has been the other one is like an like Israel is like an actual military with backing and all this other stuff, and then Palestine is like, man, I, just, I, I really believe in God, man. I don't know what to tell y'all. Like, and, <laughs> just, and the one is actual like military been putting up and, crazy numbers and I'm Israel is, numbers. You know, let's say, we'll stop right there. Um, yeah, listen, have y'all been keeping up with the Bruce Kai rage landing? Uh, it's in my algorithm. DDG. But, um, I mean, in general, I haven't been clicking the videos. Not necessarily, but it's in my algorithm. The short shorted, the uh, the thumbnails thumbnailed. I got a gist of pretty much what going went on. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I watched Bruce's stream. That's yeah, I'm about to say Bruce. I, I did I, not make that. I, I just just, oh, and just DDG. watched Bruce's stream. I didn't watch DDG's stream. I didn't watch DDG's stream. I didn't, I didn't know what DDG had to do. I got, I, I, I DDG saw, sounded like he was doing a fucking victory lap. It was kind of funny. Yeah, I yeah, seen I told two minutes of DDG <laughs> just because I wanted to hear what he had to say. Same, I seen Rages. I seen Phantoms for like two minutes each, and then that was pretty much it. And that's probably why my thumbnails, my thumbnails, my algorithm got cooked. I should watch a DDG stream. But, okay, last time we did talk about – it was out at the time, so we did talk about, uh, you know – Kai's reaction to the situation, but Ray just came out over the weekend, and then Bruce did his recently. I do want to. I want to watch Bruce's first or Rage's first. My bad, and then we'll talk about uh, you know, Mister Drop Him Off. I will say this: I did get unfollowed by Bruce, though. No, damn, I followed you. Yeah, what you mean, Big South Southside was in the building. Like, my fault. Well, not no more, but he you know, yeah. left the building. That's crazy. He uh, he unfollowed me. Oh. Damn. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Damn. Tragic. Tragic. It's tough. Oh my God. I'm okay. Bruce? I'm about to say, did he really call you? Oh my God. 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 So this oh bitch God. ass nigga had to bro, bring swear that to shit God, to the I, I did that for a second. I was like, oh, this nigga called you as soon as the pod started? Crazy. Jesus whoa, Christ. Whoa. Okay. Bitch ass nigga still chatting about me, huh? <laughs> yeah, that'd be and crazy. I said it perfect, bro. I'm not gonna lie, it's just it's like his head. And Kai said it perfectly yesterday. My dog need therapy, gang. Like y'all, I know y'all make fun of therapy and all this shit, but now I know ropes and shit. My dog need therapy, bro. I don't know what it is. I don't know is like like half of Bruce is like the coolest, most real nigga, like. I just want to be around that nigga. 
and there's another half sometimes that's that's just negative 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 like just negative and shit i'm just like fuck but i always knew that and like i accepted that but like I was like working, I don't know, bro. Like I, I don't even know how to explain. I don't even know. I don't even know how to explain it, my nigga. I just didn't think, I, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Now this is a 40 minute conversation as to, you know, how they got there. Rage let a lot of stuff out, a lot of his feelings out, how his feelings were hurt. Um, but it ended with Rage. I'm not Rage. Bruce needs therapy. Bruce needs therapy. That came out probably like Saturday night, Friday night. This is Bruce from literally yesterday. But yeah, like I had to really take my time with this shit because it's coming from the heart, not no PR team. And I'm in the wrong 100%. Now, do I expect you guys to talk to me? Do I be friends with any of you? I'd rather much not very so. I've been, I haven't been friends with these people in a long time and I've separated myself, been separated myself from those people since so i don't expect nobody to fuck with me to be honest if you don't mess with me i don't really care i don't care to be liked i'm already loved and that's all that matters to me so the people feelings that i hurt i apologize i already did apologize. i don't i'm more so apologizing to my core community because i know y'all sick and tired of defending this fat nose you feel me like but don't even think y'all got to do that man the only thing i need is god and we all do Oh, we very much all do. And they, <laughs> we do. But, man, yeah, that all came from the heart, to be honest with y'all. So that's really all I have to say. But just based off of those small snippets, what you've seen so far, let, let me let me start it off. Niggas got to stop claiming God. No, Niggas, out, of, out of convenience, people have to stop claiming God. That shit is washed to me. It's corny. Yeah, How do you know he's one of them, though? Like, what if he's actually religious? I, as far as I understand, he's never, ever, ever talked about God, claimed a religion, et cetera, et cetera. I find it interesting that all these streamers, as of late, content creators in the past two, three years, are starting to claim religion, specifically when they get into the thick of things, when the lights are the brightest. But it's it's reminiscent as to what, like, you know, other celebrities do, other mainstream people do when they get... um you know, in trouble. When my when Mike Vick had the opportunity to speak coming out of jail, first thing he said, man, was, "Hey, shouts out to God, man. Shouts out to God, man. Never, never a thousand million post game interviews, pressers, all this stuff. Never said anything. Coming out of that jail thing, man, God is the reason. I feel it. Do you think that's because when niggas get in the thick of things, that's when it like humbles them and they realize like. Oh, this shit really can go away in an instant. That's some like God shit. Like it brings them to a religious state. I mean, I do agree. A lot of these niggas is faking. I would say. I would say a lot of people are faking it. Um, but I've said that in the space. But like in the case of Michael Vick, niggas on top of the world, hood, hood fucking legend. And then that happens. You don't think that could have just been like a, a eye opening thing, and that was the thing that brought him to, to praising God now. Like, listen, maybe I need to start showing my love. It could be. I also think it sounds good. Cause just like, and not and not saying that he was truly feeling this way. As soon as I said, "Need to stop saying God," Biso's automatic instinct response was, "Oh wow, oh wow," that you know, in the sense that okay, that might be too far. But it's because they know that using religion is like the shield. As soon as I say this, mm -hmm. you can only go but so far. Hey, Omar's gonna go so far. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm, I'm gonna take it. There. A lot of y'all, a lot of y'all are using God as a as a, as a coping cape. Is it's your way of trying to deflect? In these situations and times, gotta let that go, man. Just be real. Stand on business 100 percent I would appreciate if he did a five minute stream. Hey, fuck them niggas. No cap. But so well, isn't that what believing in a faith anymore. is for a lot of people? Is like that's this is the reasoning as to why shit happens. Like God did this for a reason type shit. That's how like religious people talk about religion, is it not? If you th that for sure, for sure, they do it that yeah. way. But again, bringing it up. And only select things. God does good things. God does great things. God is not only there when you do bad or when you do good. It's crazy because we started with Israel, Palestine, and we're here now. But it's, God is not only there when you do good or bad. I mean, not, uh, I'm sorry. God is not only there when the bad times show themselves. God is there when the good times show themselves. So it's, it's convenient to me and it's interesting to me when there are people who it's a good time. 
Haven't heard you say anything about the Lord, this, that, and the third. Now it's a bad time, and all of a sudden, man, God did this. God did this for a reason. God I don't disagree. Didn't, I just didn't he say that shit when he moved? I'm sorry. I'm I'm nitpicking. Your point stands. I'm just, yeah. I don't know. But um, I mean, based off the clips I heard, um, one sound like Rage got caught into that to that dumb bitch philosophy, man. I can change him. That's what it sounded like to me. Oh, this one side, he was super positive. He's such a great guy. I want to be around him. This other side was just negative, and I accepted it. And, you know, I took that for what it was. I just, I didn't think it would happen to me. That's what the fuck I heard. I ain't going to lie to you. It just, like, Bruce Bruce is a dickhead. You knew he was a dickhead. You just felt you were above the motherfuckers that he would talk crazy about or say something crazy to. That was your man's. He said something crazy about you. Tough. I mean, that's what the, that's what the nigga is. But I'm glad Rage didn't like go off the walls and denounce him. Rage still seems like he's cool with him. It was just your man did some snake shit. Cool. Um, Bruce's response. I had no problem with it. I, I mean, I don't, I've seen other people like upset about it or call it fake. I don't know what's fake about it. The nigga apologized and was like, apologize to his fans. And other than that, was like. Honestly, he seemed like he was standing on what the fuck he said, which he should, if that's how he feels. Like, fuck it. You feel that way? Stand on how you feel, which is what I got from when I watched the stream, because when Solis hit the chat, yo, Bruce is streaming, I was in the waiting room. I was like, I want to see where this goes. I want to see what he says. I didn't watch the whole thing. I, I watched a good chunk of the first part, dipped off, came back, watched a little more. Stand on what the fuck he said. That's all I asked. Like, don't apologize if you don't really mean it. That's the only thing I can say. Yeah, um, I watched the the stream as well, and it seemed like his apology was pretty straightforward. Like he knew he was wrong; he took full accountability for it. But it's on some like, okay, man. I mean, this is my apology. If you take it, you take it. If you don't, you don't. Either way, we move. We ball. Like fuck it, we ball. You know what I'm saying? Like content doesn't stop, business doesn't stop. Um, but yeah, you know, he he was wrong. Um, I, I don't know. Like I, I I said on my stream, I think he handled it based off of already what's happened in the situation. Like, as best as he could, you know what I'm saying? Now, I don't think he backtracked. I don't think he called anyone out. He took full accountability. But also, like, you know, he didn't switch up on what he said. Because he even said, like, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I don't regret anything that I said, you know. Um, how I said it, maybe, you know, probably should have been more upfront type shit. But, you know, everything I said, like, I believe in type shit. So, yeah. Yeah, nigga wrong, you know he wrong. Um, that's basically, I don't really have too many... Um, I, I know the first part, there was a lot of things to talk about. This one, I don't really know how detailed we can get here. I mean, not to echo what everybody else is saying, but essentially he kind of was like, even even reading between the lines, he kind of was just like cool with it. He was like, all right, well, shit, that's tough. It got out. Um, My bad. We weren't cool. I wasn't cool with them for a minute. I will say that. Other than that, this is my apology to the community, to them. Sorry if I hurt you. Not sorry that I said what I said. Sorry if I hurt you. But uh, we ball, bro. We gonna move on. So um, I I do actually respect that because if he had came on there and like started boohooing and crying and backtracking, then I'd I'd be like, all right, bro, that's just whack. But he stood on what he he stood on what he said. Whether it's right or wrong to have initially said that thing, we all agree is wrong. But he stood on what he said. I don't have that much to say. I want I want to ask this because Casual Forty Man said it in the chat. He, he specifically said on the stream, he apologized and said, "Fuck the industry." AKA your homies. When, I don't know if y'all have seen the clip of saying like uh, of Bruce saying, "Yo, fuck the industry. I don't need anyone." Type shit. Did y'all take that as him saying, like, "Fuck my homies." Type shit, or was it well, like a completely separate thing? Well, one, he he said himself he ain't really cool with the niggas for real. And two, I didn't take it as him saying necessarily, "Oh yeah, fuck high and fuck rage." I took it as him saying, "Fuck everybody else. Let's keep it a buck." All the other podcasts that talked about all those other streamers and content creators that did reaction videos with him in a thumbnail and tried to boost their views. That's the industry that I thought of. Yeah, like saying, that's what fuck, I thought. That's everybody me. that hyped up the situation, fuck up. The niggas that made the Twitter space that he definitely seen. Every all three of them niggas probably well, not three. Both <laughs> DJ and the YRG community, bro. I'm about to say, <laughs> yeah, 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 about to say yeah, it was at nigga. when he logged on Twitter, it was at the top of his thing because he followed me at the time. So he, yeah. he's seen it. I mean, yeah, so. I'm pretty sure he's saying fuck the industry in that sense. And if he is saying fuck Kai, I mean, like he's saying fuck Kai. I don't know. I'm so confused on what somebody, like, what do y'all want this nigga to say? The like, niggas in the chat, oh, no, nah, man, that, that apology was BS, bro. I can't take that. Who the fuck are you, little man Jam? Oh, like, who the fuck? 
Like, who, what do you want him to fucking say? Like, I'm confused. I would, Everybody, I would, it's so much entitlement with some of these people that support these creators. Like, I, he has to say the exact thing you would say, Desmond Niles 996. Like, nigga, no. Like, he, he apologized. Think, he I said he, think, he took accountability. Nigga said, oh, you played victim. The nigga said he was mad when he did it. How are you saying you played victim when all he did was tell you why he's message, how he messaged? I felt hurt. I felt like this, that, and the third. Therefore, I said yeah, that's not an deep. excuse to me. That's not an excuse. It is not playing victim. That's him telling you why he why did what he, he did. did. The the other the other thing I'll say there is that um I don't disagree. I, I don't disagree with some of the stuff you said. A lot of stuff you said, but to act as if and you, you, well, you when you say words on the internet, it's left to interpret. Like it's a, it's left to interpretation. It's the shit we say on the podcast, and then we'll go in the comments and say, like, oh, okay, well, I, I didn't think that I had to elaborate on this, but here's some jackass in the comment section that now I have to really, like, break down what the fuck I meant. Yeah, I didn't say, you know, I, I like penguins, too, when I said I like all birds, but penguins are birds to me, so I, you know, I like penguins as well, I guess. I didn't think I had to say that. But, um, so when he says fuck the industry... And the conversation is about two dudes, three dudes, maybe four dudes. It's easy to it's easy to interpret that he's saying "fuck those four dudes." He ain't talking about uh, 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 McDonald's because McDonald's is a part of the industry. Sony Music Group. He's not saying "fuck all them" because he's not talking about them. If he did, he would have said all that stuff. He's talking about those guys specifically. Now he could be talking about OTK as well, but. And the same conversation. This is about Kai, Rage, Yachty, some parts Aiden, and those text messages. When you say fuck the industry, it's easy to assume. It's about them. It's about them. I, when, when, I, when I heard it, I just thought, because a lot of people were saying, like, yo, out of Rage, Kai, and Bruce, like, Bruce's little bro, he has the smallest platform. DDG even said, like, yo, Kai put you on type shit. You wouldn't be where you're at without Kai. Um, so, like, when Bruce said that to me, it was on some, like, Man, what is y'all like? I don't, I don't need anybody. I don't need a boost from any everybody. I got my own platform, I have my own community. Fuck the industry, like I don't need y'all type shit. I don't, I don't need a a co-sign from anyone. Like I'm, I'm me. That's how I took it. So, I just, I just think, and this could be right or wrong. I'm the only person up here that didn't watch the entire Bruce uh, pod, pod uh, entire Bruce segment. Maybe I need to go do that just so I can validate what I'm thinking. But, um. I feel like based off the tone of the clip I've seen and based on how other people deliberately responded to him, uploaded on their own channels or streams and deliberately responded to him, I would think if he was saying fuck those individuals, he would damn near call them out. Now, obviously, he burned a lot of bridges. So I feel like at that point, it's just about who was really a dog at one point in time. So, like, I feel like if he was saying fuck rage or fuck guy, he would name drop him. But if you, he's saying do you, like do you, a, do you believe that from a guy who was talking as if they were friends, and this is just based off Kai's words, was talking as if they were friends, and then will go and run into chats with mods and talk bad about them? On this specific stream, yes. Any other stream, no. Of course not. There'd be no evidence that I would have. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I do want to get into as Cruz has it here the, the parasocial conversation again. Um, we did a little space. I ain't gonna lie. Hella surprised by the space. Yo, I, I was streaming when I saw it. I'm like, yo, there's 300 motherfuckers in here. I was then making an hour a in on my yeah. stream. I, I didn't even say much. Like, there was like 900 in there, bro. Like, yeah. god damn. Yeah, y'all almost uh, did anyone man, join specifically? Like... Nah, I mean, Low came in, but he didn't go on the stage. But no one came on stage specifically that was huge. I mm. genuinely got on stage when it was at like 45. And I was like, all right, bet. Pop a little bit of shit. That shit jumped to 200. I was like, oh, this is a healthy combo. Nigga, I got a nigga. I'm like, at one point, I'm like, yo, somebody had to put this bitch in like a community or group chat because there's 500 people in here and no one on stage has like above a thousand followers outside of me and Omar in Holla. What the fuck is going on? That shit peaked at 900. I was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, chat. Let me find out y'all like drama, man. Let me find out. You just found (laughs) out? They both like drama. Nah, because I'm still on the me introducing Sassy and getting the comment rate that I'm Sassy. Let me find out you niggas like y'all drama, man. Y'all bastards. All of y'all are bastards, man. 
This is crazy. Bro, they were doing um degree offs in the space. That shit was funny as fuck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that shit now that yeah. shit. So, <laughs> some, someone said they're uh they're a free agent. <laughs> yeah. This is yeah. Happening. <laughs> that was funny. I was in so extreme listening to that yeah. bullshit, bro. That was funny. So After for the fifth comment about my daughter I had to leave. I was like, you know what? Yeah, that was I'm done. <laughs> I, I graciously bow out. I, I, this is not my fight. I'm okay. Real quick though, shout out to uh, Squeezy the Goat, uh, Squeezy Goated for five gifted subs, mm-hmm. and Kyle's for five gifted. Uh, we'll do a roll call a little bit later, chat, for everyone gifting and resubbing. Right gifted. Gifted. But so for those that don't know, um, had a little space. Uh, I guess that was Saturday, maybe, or it wasn't Saturday. It was probably Friday. Um, it was supposed to be just you know the same midday space that we always have, damn near every single day. And for whatever reason, it jumped to 900 people coming in. Oh, I got to change it. It it, it was 900 people coming in, listening, defending Bruce, slandering Bruce. Um, Some of these people got into conversations and talking points and tone. I mean, as if Bruce was right there next to him or her or them. You know, whatever the case may be, I just based off of all this drama that's going on right now, I, just I want to hear y'all's thoughts about, you know, parasocial relationships and the state that it's in today, because it's it's crazy right now. So I'll start because if uh, granted, all of us have our mafias, lingos, or whatever, but obviously I, I can't got no mafia, nigga. I'm gonna let y'all know that right now. <laughs> well, yeah, so I guess O-block. excluding Omar. Nah, yeah. they individuals. I don't know. <laughs> O-block, <laughs> hey, O-block's on hard. Wait a minute. Yeah. That's O-block. Hey, I'm probably not more D-block, so. <laughs> they, nah, don't do that. <laughs> I had no, 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 said that in the chat. Someone said don't that. Don't say chat. that. No. Don't, say that. that. don't say that. No. But, uh, say that. No, as the nigga with with the quote TSO niggas in uh the the community. Um, not gonna lie, it's always like a double edged sword because on one hand we're not gonna I, or I'm not gonna pretend to be obtuse or anything. It's nothing. No, no person doesn't like people liking them. So it's always like, oh, cool. Like, these niggas fuck with my content. These niggas fuck with me enough to send money, watch my streams. No matter what the fuck I do, that that shit's cool. But it always gets to a level on the other side where it's troubling if you can do no wrong to somebody. Or even if you do wrong to somebody, that they will... And I'm not even necessarily talking about Bruce. But if you do wrong to somebody, they will, like, still still on this nigga side no matter what like that's the only part where shit gets concerning like i'll even use him as an example like if the day after me and adam had an altercation the nigga the next day made his name tso adam it was still like oh yeah you're the like i'd been like damn nigga. <laughs> like mentally i'd be like well, well that's interesting type shit and then it goes further and further from there if i had some drama bullshit going on in my life and i should be canceled and they're like, hey man, so till I die, that nigga ain't, that nigga ain't catch five bodies. All right, bro. Like what? Like, like that's not like you see what I'm saying. Like at some point, it gets ridiculous. Even listening in the space, I heard people that didn't even necessarily have arguments. They were just like, nah, this my dog. I'm riding with him. It's like that nigga don't know you. That nigga, that nigga does not. How is he your dog and he don't even know you? He don't even dap you up. He can't even name you right now. Maybe he knows your Twitter handle, but he doesn't even know your name. What are we doing? What was killing me about, one, about parasocial relationships and just seeing it in full force in that space, it would be niggas that's like DEO Justin Jefferson in a handle with a picture of animated Bruce in a bio been DEO since I came out my mama pussy. <laughs> and they come on stage and they get on stage. Now I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. To keep it hot, the fuck you two niggas got going on to be sitting down right. on a random ass Tuesday talking about Bruce. That nigga don't know you. The fuck y'all doing your own dick? Me, sir. Your name is DEO Justin Jefferson, and you made a whole account dedicated to Bruce, and he don't know you, and you're on my dick. So what are we? You getting on dick to call out somebody and say they on dick is crazy. We sitting there having conversations. Niggas is trying to tell people, hey, Bruce should be held accountable for what he did wrong. That one nigga, no, no, I ain't gonna hold you. I need the context. I need the context of the uh, of, of the text because we don't really, was he joking? He could have been joking. You don't know Brucey. 
he could have been joking for real. Big DEO. I'm like, all right, bro. Like, after the first, after the first five minutes of saying it, cool. But after we have a casual conversation, then as soon as the nigga say something legitimate about Bruce, nigga, you really eat a dick for real because the context ain't even there for real. We need the text. I'm like, all right. I'm like, that shit is crazy. And I, I don't know if it's the lack of fathers and homes. I don't know if it's the lack of. Nah, cause they when I did a little abilities. question, when I asked the question oh, on the stage, dad. hella niggas, hella had, niggas dad. had dad. No, 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 no. no. I, everybody got a dad to be here for real, for real. Most of the part, uh, you should have said whose dad was in home. That, that's what you should have said. And that's what dad. I asked. Not do you have a dad, Damo? Did you? Have- <laughs> they they got they are got you an pop- android. <laughs> they got popses in the home, and that's not it. But continue on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. But uh, I'm I'm just saying it, it was wild how mindless motherfuckers was. Is why how mindless and unconditionally niggas will just follow people and not truly know them, like at all. That shit is genuinely scary. It reminds me of when I brought up, um, I want to say it was on here about how to start a cult, and I'm watching and it's like, dog, people like content creators are. If there's a ten checklist thing on how to start a cult, content creators do seven of these ten things. Like, <coughs> Discord, gen- genuinely seven of these ten <laughs> things. I'm watching them like. Holy shit, babe. I think I started a cult. Oh, you're funny. Ha, ha. I'm like, no, no, I'm you think I'm joking? Add everyone in Discord. Hey, big dicks up. Who up right now? 20 niggas. Oh, yeah, my dicks up, Damo. Yeah. I'm like, babe, <laughs> literally look, niggas, big dicks up at two in the morning. Like, <laughs> this shit is really a cult. And the big dicks get the more cultish shit is. Like, genuinely, that nigga Bruce started a DEO. That is a cult of people. Niggas yeah. don't even realize they're in cults. A cult following. They don't, that, they don't call it that for no reason. Niggas are part of cults and don't realize it. Back in the day, if you said you was in a cult, niggas would stone you. Niggas would be like, hey, hey gang, like, find God. Like, let's go pray over you. Let's get you away from whatever the fuck you're doing. Nowadays, niggas dead ass being cults since they were 13. You're 23. Now you've been in the cult for 10 years. You don't even, your parents don't even know. Like, no one knows. You've just been cultivized for 10 years from this streamer or this streamer or these group of streamers. And now your your life doesn't operate the same if it's not without them. It's crazy. Retweet everything y'all said, and just to build off of everything uh, what Damo was saying at the end, I think content creators like let's 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 just make it clear it is a two way street. Yeah, there's definitely a two way street, especially in my opinion with Twitch streamers, because mm-hmm. specifically on Twitch, and I'm not talking about Twitch streamers. It is normal to stream. Seven, six, seven, eight, nine hours, five times a week. And again, for us up here, we talk about how like, yo, I, we don't watch streams through and through from start to finish, but there are people like that. And even if it isn't, it's three to four hours. Imagine spending three to four hours with someone every single day for five times a week. That's what? uh, 15 to 20 hours? It's a lot of fucking hours. And, it, and on the content creator side of things, it's not like specifically for those people who stream seven to nine hours. I'm sorry, you, you can't just react to videos and talk, uh, play games the whole time and not spew out some sort of personality that you have, some sort of life story. That I, I'm, I'm pretty sure if you're spending a lot of time with chat, at some point you want to talk about real life shit. You know what I'm saying? Some advice that you have, some experience that you have, some stories that you got. And over time, their connection with you builds up to the point where like, yo... I know a lot about this dude, this dude that I honestly should not know about, but I do now. So like that connection builds up, and that's how you develop that parasocial relationship. Um, to say it's gotten out of hand, um, yeah, I, I feel like extreme cases has definitely gotten out of hand, but I, I feel like it's gotten out of hand even before social media. Like I always said, like the the Jordan fans with the memorabilia room. That shit has been weird as fuck. And that was before social media. So I feel like social media has just amplified that and made it so that there's options for you to essentially not. It's not just Michael Jackson. It's not just, you know, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James. There's like these small content creators that motherfuckers don't know about in the grand scheme of things that you can be in their cult. Essentially. I'd, I'll go ahead, Omar. I was going to say, I, I and I think that there's a difference, and I'm going to be disrespectful here when I say this. One, um... You you talking about twenty hours on one platform? If you think about a lot of these creators, they're on multiple platforms. And it's more, yeah. So it, it gets to even more to where somebody's like full time jobbing 
watching this fa their favorite creator. It, it, and that, that also includes like clips of the stream and shorts and all this other stuff like that. When you think about it, people, people probably consume 40, 40 hours a week of agent. Pause. People probably consume 40 hours a week of Kai. Um, hell, even when we talk about like be soul sage, like people, what is that? People that are on, yeah, <laughs> people that are on multiple platforms, like people just consume a, a, like a lot of them, the content, all that stuff like that. And that that's where it gets, you know, really, really scary. Um, I think the difference between those that are like Michael Jackson, you know, uh, Michael Jordan, although unhealthy, we do think stand culture and celebrities is unhealthy. Um, this is different because we're talking about people that blew up roasting stuff, like making little small jokes like this. And, and it's a more personalized element. Michael Jackson and Jordan were still pretty far away from you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those, those times where, like I said in my chat, I, I might shout, oh, is that Ken Master down there? Is that, yo, what's up, Ken Master? Puts a little personalized emphasis on it. And I do think, it, like you said, it goes both ways. The creator has a responsibility. If you start to see that happening, you should kind of deter. I don't want to say that to disrespect any of our chat, any of our chats. Um, no, it is Beast Souls of Echo. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Um, what's it called? But I don't I don't say that to disrespect any of our chat, anything like that. But like we're regular people. You could be entertained by us. I think that's perfectly fine. When it starts to cross that boundary of like parasocial, like I love this person, all et cetera, et cetera, that's where that's where motherfuckers draw the line. That's where I draw the line, at least. Me personally. I remember a while back I had my line drawn at some some chat was doing it was pissing me the fuck off. I can't remember it right now. I remember that and niggas was mad that I wasn't like making certain jokes and shit like that. And I was like, all right, bro, now we now we get to a point of entitlement. Like, y'all don't know me, nigga. And I remember ranting about that shit. But that's kind of like that's kind of like what I'm, I'm hinting at now. I do got a question though. Um, do y'all think it's really a problem at like our level or a much lower level because i i would argue and it's not a strong argument it's really just a presentation that this is at the high end levels of this shit so like i think like michael jordan for example yes this is a huge problem but i don't think people like it to keep it in basketball like cole anthony has an issue i think cole anthony has fans and shit but if he was like at averaging 30 so, so then he man. might have a little you know what i'm saying so the same thing with the streamer shit like like at least in the moment in time i don't think i have any people in my chat that have a huge problem but if i was casting that it's without a doubt so do y'all think it's a matter of just more eyes on you and therefore introducing those people or is it genuinely truly the content and or talent that you have I, that will eventually i think i think it, it's about the way that you go about things um and the way that you cater your content the way that you interact with your audience etc cetera, etc cetera. uh we, we were we talked about this a minute ago when like you know b souls was making the switch in content i think this is even before souls and sage but just the difference between like i'm getting views and i'm and i'm garnering like an audience right if i got a good title i got a good thumbnail i could be getting good views and stuff like that i don't never have to show my face there's no real attachment to me it's just hey i know this thumbnail style um this person makes good videos but when we talk about garnering an audience it's like we said putting the face out there streaming for x amount of hours a week creating content for x amount of hours a week and now we're, um, you know, being a part of really somebody's life, somebody's upbringing. Um, so, so I don't think it's just Kai Sinat on the high end that has this. I think all of us have this to an extent. Now, I do again, think what oh, they say, bad. real quick, what they say might be a little different because you have some people that'll just say the most extreme things to Kai. I don't know if they'll say that to us, but yeah. everybody has it. Because we give ourselves so much now. I do think um, having a larger following definitely makes it worse. Because there's a difference between being the head honcho of the streamer who has 30 viewers. And like, you know, being the head head mod of Bruce Dio with like 20,000 people in there on a regular basis. I feel like people get more of a power trip having. And there's also more people to just interact with if you're like a stand of a bigger creator. 
Like you feel like, you know what I'm saying? You got power within this community that you really value versus again, just keeping up with the small content creator with five people. Who the fuck cares if you're a head honcho of five people? But if you're the head honcho of 20,000, it's, it's just, you know, it's a little different. But. Type shit. I feel like it it really determines on what the uh, creator or streamer values as parasocial or what deems parasocial or feels is a bit too much. I know for me, at least starting out for the longest, that shit would eat my fucking soul, niggas, and just drop my government name, just hey, yo. really nilly, just <laughs> in crazy situations. I'll just put a tweet up, yo, Osiris with the three, bang. All right, whole government name. Let's relax, buddy. <laughs> Nigga, you do not know me, little John. What the fuck is going like what all right, whatever. That that shit used to bug me at first, but it, I, I felt it came with the territory. But I feel like you draw those lines with what's um and deem what's parasocial. I do feel like I feel like creators don't realize how easy it is for them to niggas just doing this. I hate y'all so much. <laughs> I, I don't think creators realize how easy they make it for people to be parasocial with them. Like, I don't think people, I don't think creators r- truly realize how just easy it is for a person to become parasocial with you. Because I forgot who the fuck I was watching the interview of on the podcast. It might have been a clip or whatever. But they were saying, like, they went out with their family and, like, to, they was out with their brother or some shit that was eating. And a fan came up and was like, yo, uh, I- I'm saying eating, ah, ah, I just want to take a picture, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, yo, bro, I- I- I'll meet with my brother. Can, like, maybe later, ah, ah, do all the way. He was like, yo, yeah, I'm sorry, bro, that shit. That shit gets kind of weird. Like I, I that shit gets kind of weird. I don't know. I hope that wasn't weird to you. He was like his brother said. His brother was like, I mean, I think it would have been weird for you not to take the picture because with that person, I mean, they spend every day watching you and they'll donate and you'll call out their name and read whatever question they have and answer that question directly. So they feel personal with you. Yeah. They're typing in your chats and they're literally talking about their day and you while in the middle of playing a fucking game. Nah, nah, little Jay, I, I feel you. I ain't gonna hold you. That reminds me of the time when I was 15 and yeah. now you're going into a 15 minute story and now it's based off this person just asking you a question for free. They didn't have to pay for it. And that's an ex- that's a shared experience or they have that deeper connection with you. So I don't. I, I think it would be more weird for you not to do that. They acted how they were supposed to act. They've watched you all week, watched you all day, can recite all your videos. That's normal for them. It's yeah. abnormal what you just did. You don't. You don't realize how much you really affect these people, or how much these people, how much of yourself you give to these people, or how close you make them feel to you. Yeah, it's the creator's job to. Um, because I personally am of the mindset. I'd probably disagree with Omar. Um, really more than anybody here that I'm not even against that mindset of, hey, have your little mafia or whatever, have your TSO, your SLZ, your KC3, ORG, all those shits. I'm not even necessarily against that ideology. I think it's actually overall does more good than bad. However, you as the creator definitely need to establish very clear cut because these are easily impressionable people very clear-cut boundaries like no, I, we're on the same page we're on the yeah same like page. I, like all right bro yeah. like you see me in real life for example hey yo is that oh where it was good because some people have met me and they've been like yo what's good bro some very some people even ask for a picture that shit's fine but like if i was hypothetically as one dude saw me at a restaurant and he saw me when i was walking in he said what's up now if that motherfucker has seen me eating with my family and he had like tapped my fucking fork or some shit, be like, yo, 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 come here real quick, Sage. Yo, 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 get this. Like, that had been OD, bro. It'd been like, all right, bro. And then obviously, it could get much worse than that. I think as long as you don't even represent it because you don't know how what people will do, but if you make clear, very clear cut boundaries, I think it's perfectly fine. Mm, I just, I worry about the youth. I worry That's about true. the youth, to be quite honest with you. Um, and there's some people not doing it, but. At the end of the day, and this is what I got from, um, you know, oh, he was there. This is what I got out of the whole situation with Bruce and everything like that, is that there are people yearning for community, for, you know, friends, family, all that stuff like that. And even how, like, they rose to power, what they were doing. When Bruce was like, because I replayed his peer-to-peer clips yeah, I was failing school and I was doing this, that, and the third, and I was just doing YouTube. Like my main focus was YouTube. There's some dudes that we know uh throughout these past couple of years. Yo, I started skipping school to do YouTube and started like just ingraining myself into this internet, this Discord, 
this community, et cetera, et cetera. And and that's where I feel like all right, you're 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 you you know pressing the boundaries, like you're you're testing the limits right here. And really you're overstepping because like you're ignoring your real life for the sake of the internet and it's not paying you in a certain it's not paying you at all. You the yeah. only thing that you're getting is validation from people who don't know you, who will never know you. Um and if you met them in real life, they'd be like, What? And once you ex- you have to explain who you are. Oh, I'm I'm Jamie McGamey, you know, with the, the Pikachu profile picture. Yeah. And, and shout out to Bro too, because I feel like I'm going too hard at him. But the dude who said, um, yeah, I'm not gonna clip eight enough for twenty thousand a month just because it's my mm. hobby. Cause it's just hey, listen. Mm. If 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 I get paid for this, you're gonna take it with a passion for it. I'm like, oh, geez. That's parasocial as fuck. The fact that you can't even take money because you want to have fun so much clipping three other dudes, bro. Like, I, I don't know, man. Hey, to each is their own. Get paid, though. Yeah, Ultimately, if you, if you see this clip, know, just get man. paid, bro. <laughs> I, I wouldn't have a problem with what you're doing. Just please get paid. Did he, did he say something to you? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm oh. just saying, like, if you ever seen this, just listen. I'm not trying to go hard on you, but, like, that's, that's a parasocial ass thing to do. For you to pass up $20,000... Cause you want to keep the passion of clipping up Kai, Speed and Aiden, bro. One time, one time, I think I think it was I think it's in that same conversation. It was like, yo, people don't understand like how hard it is for a clipper, especially during these subathons. Like, there's no sympathy for us. I thought to myself, shut the fuck <laughs> up. Yeah, with the twenty thousand dollar foundation, it is all right, bro. Now, no, and mind you, these people that's not getting twenty thousand. It's like these little kids that are like, oh yeah, I, I you know I gotta shirk off responsibilities to clip Sky stream up or whatever the case may be and it if might you're getting paid is different if you can say okay cool but yeah oh, just, oh, different. Yeah. But I'm, I'm talking about the dudes that are truly still doing it for the passion or even like you know two thousand killing me with this man what the two thousand dollars a month or whatever the case may be yeah come on bro you're a high school kid put that shit down it's your homecoming it's your prom it's the last football game that you'll ever be able to go to. It's senior night for the basketball team. Yeah. It's the it's the uh what's the the practice for graduation. Go to these things. Yeah. Stop coming home every Friday night so you can get on the computer. You rushing home because you know I gotta I gotta rush home so I can take a nap and get some food because I know gang gonna be streaming at seven thirty. <laughs> gang. <laughs> <laughs> I'm inside with the gang. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't, I don't condone bullying. I don't. I, uh, they're crazy. I don't. But I don't condone it. But it works. They're crazy. That's legitimately that. crazy. Um, let's do roll call after this. I wanna, uh, I wanna bring this up. Man, annoying got robbed. Oh, shit. So that's real. I thought that was a skit. Uh, he got robbed. Oh, that nigga really. Yes, he did. Niggas took his chain. That's no, I just got pointed and he got bailed out. Oh well, I'll give detail if it's not in this. But listen, I ain't gonna lie. Listen, I don't want to be the one to be like, oh, like, I've been in Toronto multiple times. Toronto is one of my favorite cities, and I ain't gonna lie. Every time I'm in Toronto. I'm safe. I feel like I'm in, I'm in the safest part of America. So, so listen, y'all gotta ask if you wanna say the safest part of America. But lots of them really like that, bro. Listen, man, do they get active, active though? Or do they just like claim active, bro? I know a lot of people who claim they're active, but not active. He sound effects. Damn. Like, don't get me wrong, <laughs> shitty shit and treacherous shit happens everywhere. But, like, are they active, active, bro? Like, <laughs> Semi-active, thank you. Damn. <laughs> My take has changed. <laughs> Damn. You know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Is they active, active, bro? <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, come on, bro. What is my chat from Toronto? What, the king bet? And I'm assuming that was before he got robbed, right? Yeah, for sure. Oh, okay, cool. I'll, I'll All break right. down the story He's real quick. Right right come on, bro. God, yeah, that's tough. I'll, I'll break down the story real quick. Um, so he gets invited by God. <laughs> you'll you'll never guess who he gets invited. Guess guess who he gets invited to go to the Drake concert by Sage. <laughs> Just take a guess. I mean, you, you'll I probably... uh, give me Cal Lowry. It's like, no, no, I can't no. think of nobody. Quentin Miller. No, apparently it was Drake. Oh, 
From my understanding, it was Drake. Chat, please correct me if I'm wrong. But he got invited to go. And it's going to be somebody in the comments. See, this is what the fuck I'm talking about with Omar. Um, what's the call? So he gets invited to go to the Drake concert. Uh, so he goes out there. And it's supposed to be him and his two homeboys. Now, from the ins- inside sources, apparently annoying is like... From what I gathered, he's just easy. He loves to get sprinters. He loves to be showing off big, all that stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Mind you, it's him and two homeboys. He gets a sprinter for him and two homeboys. At this point, they just start inviting people. Oh, shit, you got a sprinter? Let's fill a sprinter up. So now he's sitting in a car full of just randoms. Sprinter full. It's, it's him, two homeboys, and like five, six, seven, eight other people that he just <laughs> don't know. The inside sources will lead. <laughs> Ah. No, that was that was uh what's his name? That was Kobe. Oh, I ain't lie. It was Kobe. Uh but anyway, so so he says um they go to the mall and you know from the mall they go to the liquor store and now they're at the liquor store hanging out, sprinter door wide open, bumping music, people going in and out because they gotta pee, uh, they gotta go to the bathroom, they're trying to get bottles, all this other stuff like that. Apparently, they were right across the street from the hood. And while this is happening, somebody pulls up with a gun and is like, run it. And so then the driver takes off. The guy flies into the sprinter. Two people fly out. The gun falls everywhere, whatever the case may be. Um, And then uh, um, they stop. They hit something or something like that. Stuff is just all over the place. People discombobulated. Folks is jumping out at this point. The gun is to the left sideways or whatever the case may be. The, the gunman falls out. The sprinter takes off, but his friends are in the bathroom and they're chasing the sprinter down. Um, and then that's when the people who were robbing him robbed his two friends um, and got a chain or whatever the case may be. Um, he said he didn't want to get security. I watched the stream. He didn't want to get security because they only were going to be out and about for two hours and the security had like an eight hour minimum. Um, so he didn't want to get security for that reason. Mm-hmm. Shit, I ain't gonna lie. After I watch Omar's stream, I know I'm gonna easily lit because I was watching that annoying stream. I'm like, if I was single with annoying's money, I would have done this exact same shit. I don't know. That's dumb but, though. No, I know. I know it's dumb Very now. Dumb. But uh, it been there, bro. It yeah. took... some people just it's, don't have that, you know. Yeah, it's a level of street Experience. sense that so. Um, I'll say, and y'all know I'm a king, uh, a main person that doesn't argue for the struggle off and all that shit. There's a level of street sense that I feel like we all we all need at some point in time, whether it's through experience, life lifetime experience, or just hey, you found out the hard way, shit. Damn. Um, just to get me out the way since I'm already talking. My initial take was going to be copacetic, typical. I don't care. That's tough. Fucked up. Then I seen that clip. Yeah, we behind the screen. I understand. I can't actually punch you. You can't punch me. The world is someone's watching you right now. Okay, like mm-hmm. I feel like y'all tweet shit, y'all post shit on Instagram, y- y'all and y'all act like there's not a human that either knows you or wants to know you that will actually say or do something to directly affect you. There's a reason why I'll always say whenever I'm like talking about certain stuff, hey, I'm not from here. Hey, I'm not saying I want to get up with you shit like that. It's not on some pussy shit. It's because some the world is fucking wild. This dude thinking he's laughing it up, basically saying, oh, which city's sweet, which city's not. One motherfucking you from Toronto was dead. It's like, I bro, keep talking. I'm going to show you what the eye. And here we are, bro. That, that nigga did it to himself. I, I, it, it sounds fucked up. It's definitely in hindsight. But he did it to himself. It's tough. Yeah, nigga situational awareness is not keen. I can remember also. When when we was in Atlanta with the Bando Wings, I can remember. Oh my! Like, we pulled in. First thing I said, all right, somebody called Omar and asked him which one of these fucking buildings is it? Because yep. there's literally a plaza of niggas standing there and they just looking at our car. I'm not. Yeah, remember, remember when, when, remember when, bro? I think was Caleb, when Caleb pulled up with the hug and all no, the whole, the whole room chat. Everybody standing in line just from across. Like you can look at your walls in your room. Everybody is literally at the edge of the room. This nigga walks in. What's up, my keep it a buck, brothers? Someone ran to hug this nigga the whole room. Larry. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> the whole All I seen room. Don do was this. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay. And, and, and mind you, this Let's was me. Why are we scared for? 
Like, <laughs> just you just you just hug Caleb. <laughs> I'm sitting there, I'm like this. I'm like, hey, yo, yo Omar, uh, you, you finish? Because uh, I don't know if you see Don. Don's uncomfortable. Omar looked at Don, looked around. Yeah, let me go ahead and let them know we wrap up their food. I'm like, yeah, thanks, gang. We got to get out of here. But nah, dead serious. One, uh, I had no sympathy for annoying getting robbed. Uh, he's an easy look. I knew that when we were in DreamCon. I seen him. He walked right by us. I'm like, is that annoying? <laughs> he looks mad robbable right now. Like, oh literally. Like, literally. <laughs> literally like, I'm standing there. Like, y'all know how we was at the bottom yeah. of the like, Everybody just walk up. I'm like, yeah. you know, niggas could really fuck him up right now. And like, <laughs> Who would do something? Like, he he's mad robber right now at DreamCon. No, but anime niggas are cosplay. I'm like, yo, this nigga looks mad. Like, I could take his chain right now. So I'm I'm not upset about it. Hearing the breakdown is you and two mans and y'all trying to get a splinter van and do it big. Cause, yeah, you deserve to get robbed. You deserve to get robbed. You don't act like that, bro. I don't give a fuck. He's in the chat one say, don't he have lupus? Man, stop. <laughs> stop. stop. <laughs> Which makes him more robbable. I, I want y'all to, I want y'all to stop. Yo. I just I Which overall makes it more we, we it makes get, it more robbable. Like, we get, <laughs> if it was an 85% chance you get away with that robbery, because of knowing how lupus makes it 95, in my opinion. Like, what, like the fuck is he gonna do? Like what is nah, it? I, and it, I'm about to say it's, it's sickle, so I know it's not <laughs> but, but, Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I, oh, I, I, um I, I'll say this because at the end of the day, selling them chains. Let me st- at the end of the day, and at the beginning, and at the at the beginning of the night, the answer is be who you are. Thank you. And I know they be like, money don't change people; it amplifies who you are. It do be changing some people, and the amplification might be like, oh, he always wanted to be this person, or whatever the case may be. But like, people need to have realistic conversations with who they are, what they want to be. Uh, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Like, bro, if I got if I got money, I I'd be talking about buying a chain, and I probably would buy a chain. Y'all y'all would not see me wear an actual chain. <laughs> y'all y'all would not actually see me wearing a chain. I got money to buy clothes now. I got money to buy shoes now. I'm not buying that stuff. Oh yeah, like, nah. I guess I gotta reestablish the like, vision because I thought we was wearing chains. Damn. No, no, that's not, an aesthetic. That's an aesthetic thing. Like, first of all, a chain. I, I feel like what Omar is saying. I feel Omar, like it's some big, bulky, unnecessary shit. So, I, actually, I don't know what Omar means because I wouldn't even wear a necklace. I don't. I, I don't. No, and, I don't and mind know. you, I wouldn't wear any. When I mean when I mean aesthetic, we're gonna go to a street that we deem is safe. Yeah. Take candid pictures. Take the jewelry off. Yeah, thank you. Put it in a box. Send somebody off with that box. And then we're going to go inside the Waffle House. We're going to eat some food. And that's if the podcast makes a million dollars a month. Because guess what? I like Waffle House. I know y'all niggas like Waffle House. We're not about to just, we're not about to fake that stuff. Because that's not who we are. I, that's not who any of us are. That's not like, and it, it would be sick to try to like play as if that is us. Because stuff like this happens. Stuff like this happens. The stuff that Annoying did is is to impress others. And that the same thing that I was saying in that Bruce conversation, that last bit, people are trying to find friends, community, all that stuff like that. I believe that's what this is as well. You got a sprinter not for you, for other people. If you need it, you safe, don't even know. If like, you need a safe I, transportation, you would have got a it would have just been a regular Uber or a driving service. It would have been a, a car. For you to get from A to B, it wouldn't have been a sprinter mm-hmm. for people like that. I'm gonna say about people you don't know, but apparently, due to my sources, he does that everywhere he goes. He just get he he gets a sprinter even if it's just him. He'll rack up, he'll just he'll just order sprinters and stuff like that. But I still think that's an attempt that's to get so people dumb. to come with you. It's an attempt yeah. to get people to come with you to show off, to flex, to do all these things like that. And fucks uh, for nothing. Like I, I don't know. It's just. I thought when he got beat up by DDG, it would have fixed him. I guess it didn't. He got beat up by DDG? Oh, yeah. Darryl, you know, he put up. Up. Yes, Daryl. Uh, let me stop. I don't want to spread. No, fuck that. No, nah, Daryl proposed on that nigga because yeah. he was talking shit, and they was at a party in L.A., and again, annoying, trying to be a nigga that he's not, walked up in this party like shit was sweet, and, and got his ass shook the fuck up, and got pressed. I'm not even yeah. I'm not even necessarily on his head top when we talk about it. I just hope that even he, if he were to see this clip, he's not necessarily like, well, fuck these keep it a buck guys. Just more so, yeah. 
<laughs> like, like everybody needs to learn these lessons, man. And it's just like, yeah, my nigga, you, in hindsight, I'm with you in the sense of there'll probably be a day where we talk about what cities and states we think is sweet or whatever. And that's going to be fine and dandy. And it might personally be one motherfucker out there waiting for us to go to Montana. <laughs> and it's just like, hey, you said Montana's trash? Run that shit. Like, All right, bro, What's I the- guess. <laughs> but um, in hindsight, nah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I got just, the story wrong. Uh, he didn't beat him up. He sent him running. I'm sorry. I got the story wrong. DDG got beat up in the room. I'm sorry. It's it's, it's, it's too many stories. When I, it's, too when many, I, it's too many stories to keep up with. I'm sorry. DDG got I, beat yo, up by somebody. When I had the when I had the stream, my brother called and it was it, what he said like perfectly summed it up. It's the fact that the way you broke down the math and the science and everything about your decision to get security to not get security for what you had going on. You're in a foreign city. You're not with people that you know. You're not with a collective of people that you can hang around with. Because a lot of influencers went to that went to that specific Toronto show. Yeah, I seen that. Yeah. Basically, all I think all John that, was there too. Yeah, John went. All of AMP, all of AMP, all of AMP went. Snipe went. Uh, there's a a bunch of other creators that went. Was it Ben the dude that does skits? I think Drewski went. Like, there's a bunch of people that went. And with that being said, there's people that are annoying new. So if you wanted to be around people that you knew, knew weren't on that type of time, were going to move safe, all these different things like that, you could have moved that way. I, I would never go to a city by myself without people that I don't know. Ridiculous. And that also don't know the city. That's also weird. But if I'm debating on spending, I think he said it was like $1,000 or something like that. But if I if I, I understand the security comes with minimums, all these things come with minimums. The hell that Sprinter came with a minimum, even though you didn't. Oh, you might have rented it by an hour. But a lot of Sprinters come with a minimum um, and you don't use it for those hours. But you value those chains more than you did your life. Oh, with that, if a thousand dollars was your breaking point for the security. No, but didn't he say it was a time thing? Like, yo, I only need security for three hours. How does that yeah. make sense? Be yeah, so? yeah, how, long, yeah. how long does it you take to take for your it. life? How long does it take for- to take your life? You pay for the eight hours at that point, gang. I ain't gonna count. How long does it take for it to take your life? Because you think you thinking I'm like trying. this, like like even if he, like, like put it, put it this way, so if he went to Chicago, this ain't in the conversation. Because if he went to Chicago, the niggas one hundred percent not staying in Chicago with two motherfuckers, not calling them sweet. I don't know who the fuck y'all are, but he's not staying there with two other motherfuckers around a bunch of randoms off of an invite from I don't know Chicago legend Pat Bev and Dre. He's not he's not fucking doing that shit. So it's Hell no, bro. You're supposed to pay for that security every time at that point. And, and, and it's not like he was going direct line because even if if you were pressed for the money, and which he's not, but if you were pressed for the money and you were going, all right, I'm going airport, hotel, hotel, Drake concert, Drake concert, hotel, hotel, that's, airport. That's different too. Yeah. That may be a different conversation. That may be a different conversation. I would still say get security. But you was going to two, three malls. He went to a mall that was an hour away from where they were having the concert. And oh, walked we, around well, the at that point, he's just lying about how much time he needed security for. But I, I, I don't know. I just feel like if you genuinely just need security for three hours, just get it for three hours. But even it sounds if, like he, it sounded like he actually needed it for like eight hours, six hours. So no, point, even if you, it. even if he only planned to be in Toronto for six hours or five hours, the fact that you was about to be out and about, moving all over the place. With no security is reckless, in a, in, <laughs> in a, it's super reckless to be bringing niggas with you that's never been there that you're responsible for. Damn near, basically, you're responsible for these people, and you put them in the fucked up situation that you put them in. That's even yeah. more reckless. Like that's wild. You got me. Like I, that is such a violation of just what you're supposed to do. But I guess I mean social media make niggas feel like they're invincible. But to uh, but to think that niggas can. <laughs> To think niggas can just genuinely get a sprinter van for three niggas and be like, man, fuck it. I don't know who that nigga is. I like your shoes, though. Hey, gang. Hey, yo. You trying to ride? It's crazy. Like, you, <laughs> yeah, you're you in crazy. another country. What are we doing? I don't That's even the- do that. I don't even do that in my city. He said it was a YouTuber, and a YouTuber came up. And I get that, because people be doing that. Yo, can I put you on my... Can I put you on my vlog? Can I put you on my vlog? Can I put you on my vlog? But, like, New York niggas will know what I'm talking about when I say this. If dude ask you what time it is, like you you got the time, what time is it? And you look down, that's that's like a a, a way to get you off the path. Like that's a way to get you off the you know where you need to be focused on. So if a dude come to you and say, 
yo, can I get you on my camera? And now your eyes and attention are diverted here. He's trying to get somebody to come up from behind you to do Ooh, something shit. dirty to you. And, and also, be so. I, I want. I hope you don't do math like this. I hope you don't do math like this. Whether it's two hours, whether he was going to be in Toronto for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever the case may be, there's no price on your life. It could all happen that fast. So if you if you if you truly value your chains or you truly value your stain more than your life that you can't pay a thousand dollars because they have a minimum. Oh, they got a minimum and I'm not going to utilize that whole minimum. So it's not worth it. Nah, that's crazy. That's a that's, that's a crazy way to do math to me. I mean, no, that's that's fair. If you have the money to get it, then get it for as, as much as you can. If it truly is not going to damage your pockets type shit. Um, but I don't know. I'm, I'm I'm just more of the belief of like, yo, if if you don't need it for two days, just get it for one. If you just need it for one. Well, he's so saying same... if you can't get it, if you can't get it for one, if you call the people and they say, hey, the minimum is two days. Mm -hmm. But if this is for your safety, your convenience. Oh, when you remember when you I remember when you did this and I, I can tell the story. I don't think it's crazy. It's not crazy. I don't even know why I prefaced it like that. When you was like, yo, um, you know, my family's coming down to Atlanta to go to the T-Swift concert. Mm -hmm. I could have I could have sent you and I don't think I ended up sending you places. Well, actually, I didn't recommend those places because I didn't feel like they were they were good enough for like who you had coming. But if there was a cheap place, if there was a place with a, a, a one night minimum, the cost was low, et cetera, et cetera. But it was in a bad place. I would never send you there. I would never oh, yeah. send you or your family there. Even if it meant, hey, go over here. It's a four-night minimum. Y'all only going to be here for two nights, but this is the safest place that you can possibly be uh, as a stranger in Atlanta. That's a better deal to me. That just seems like a better deal to me. Yeah. No, that's that's fair. Yeah. And the street smarts thing, like niggas, like the like obviously the phone thing. Some niggas, some niggas will ask a motherfucker that clearly don't work in traffic. Hey, yo, can you park here? <laughs> yeah, sure. Go ahead and try. Yeah. You have a motherfucker smack the shit out your car, and we go over that the whole hood just seeing that shit and laugh you. Yeah, man, it's it's hella shit, bro. It's hella shit, niggas. Some of that you only get through experience, unfortunately. But some of that shit, man, I just need. I just pray everybody just. Keep a simple head and don't trust every fucking body and don't think you're that guy when you're not. That's all I can say. I just don't see how a nigga like annoying who's been making this type of money that he's been making for as long as he's been making it, been in the spotlight for as long as he's been in the spotlight, moving with the people he's been moving with as long as he's been like doing this and you making mistakes like this. And maybe it wasn't, well, it is a mistake, but maybe you didn't deem it as a mistake. Maybe he just felt, you know, niggas in Toronto was sweet. Like, like he said, I feel safe. I, I'm the yeah, safe. You did say I'm it. You have to say like, that. I don't, like, bro, how safe are you really? Like, you think you safe? Like, niggas is not safe, bro. Especially a nigga like you, annoying. Like, bro, <laughs> no, you foul. Christ. You foul. But I'm glad you circled back to that. Yeah, we did forget what he initially said. We were harping on the fact that hey, that's karma. In hindsight. He did think he was safe. <laughs> and I said, you, yeah, he did think he was safe. Was that's a great thing, point, you, th you thought you was you the boy for safe. real. Like, nigga, and, no. But, and that's true. And, and also, also, the people around him could look at him as like, you know, an easy lick, a setup man. Because that's when I, when I heard the whole story, I was like, man, whoever these girls are, they setting this nigga up too easy. But Shit, you could even make a joke that Drake did it. They could, <laughs> you know, but they, they they look at him as like a, a, a super easy lick. He's the one that's gonna pay the money. He's the one that's gonna fund the excursion. He's gonna he's gonna do all that stuff. He's he gonna do all that stuff. It is what it is. And this goes to show I ain't gonna lie, anybody watching, if you got aspirations of being like big in whatever field or content or, or sport, whatever it is, bro, be mindful of the niggas in your circle, the niggas you bring around you. Don't bring people around you if you moving around a lot, if you travel, you make it to this certain point. Don't bring niggas around you that brings unwanted attention or just brings any extra attention to you. If you are the star, if you are the, the person that is getting it pop of everybody, don't have niggas around you that's just, where the bitches at? Yo, we got to get the bitches. Hey, 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 shorty. Hey, come on with us. Get, leave them niggas the fuck at home, bro. Don't, especially if you're not that kind of person. If you're an outgoing person, be mindful, but okay, cool. You're doing that. But don't be a don't be a nigga that's super quiet, super 
man, I really rather just go home and play the game for real. Don't be that guy. You out and about with money, and your man's just trying to get all the bitches in your section. Your man's just trying to get all the people involved with y'all and get the circle hella big so y'all can look popping. Because that will get you fucked up. You'll get pop smoked. You will get fucking annoying. You you you'll get you will get done dirty because the people in your circle. You will. You'll get annoying real quick, nigga. Like you dead ass will that shit will fire back on you because niggas is living off you. Like you you're not being mindful. That shit is crazy. So many people are so like not mindful of the attention they put on other people. That shit's wild. No, they they are mindful. They 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 just don't care because it doesn't it doesn't affect them. At the end of the day, but also this is why these kids need to go to college. This just sound like a chronically online dude who was out and about, and he never had experiences. So I'm telling these kids, hey, go to college, you'll yeah. learn. You learn. That's basically it. Be, be, live real life. You can hear the stories of the times when niggas really ran up on annoying and tried to do something or did something. So you would think that this nigga would be like, all right, maybe I'm not untouchable. But oh no, nah, that was when I was in L.A. That's when I was in Houston. That's yeah, that, that's the thing that killed Toronto. me. If this yeah. was the first time, like that. okay, you didn't know what the fuck to do, but it sounds like it's happened to him before. It, it didn't sound like he, he yeah, it, 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 it didn't sound like he learned from his lesson. So that's what I'm gonna run down on annoying. All right, be so do the roll call. Real I wanted quick. to address I was like, bro, right, I, I hate y'all, man. Like, I wanted to, so I was like, no, I'm not because the way you went and got take a picture with him. I'm like, nigga, yo, Wamo, you coming? Fuck No, Dwayne, you know, oh, Wamo, oh my. <laughs> Shout out the team. My hand that nigga pocket. Man, what are you talking about? Let me start. All right, let's see. Let's see where we start. Oh, with it. Um, shout out to Boot Slayer for the resub. Shout out to King Addis for the resub. Thicky Glizzy Yeater for the resub. Uh, LeBron James LA for the resub. Bleak Superior. Uh, Wolves FF. Dreetron. Gengar. Uh, Comfy. Crewy. DSG Piccolo. Yes, Glow yes, Zach. Yes. Uh, Cuck. Cud for the resub, the last god for the gifted, CJ for the sub, King Kells for the five gifted. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Don for the sub, uh, Mando for the resub, uh, Squeezy for the five gifted earlier as well. Uh, Persian for the gifted, uh, Juan for the resub, Full Cam for the resub, and Jay Gaming for the resub. I appreciate all the love and support y'all give the community on some so not nice. fair social shit. <laughs> I'm about to say. Yeah, let me be clear. That the parasocial says you, you. Want, to become, you want to become a member of TSO. Go ahead, man. Love you, man. <laughs> do that. Fine, I'll take all of you, motherfuckers. <laughs> um, real quick, real quick. Uh, since we feels like it's a transition coming on, I'll go ahead and take the lead on this one because I want to get your opinions. And you know, Omar's not here, so we can talk basketball. Um, look, <laughs> Kevin Porter Jr. Oh shit, has this had the really char- <laughs> has had the charges dropped. In his situation involving his ex, current Kaiser. WNBA uh, player girlfriend, and basically the charge was dropped because of insufficient evidence, basically saying the decision came after it was revealed that Porter did not cause the break in his girlfriend, this girl. I'm not saying that shit. Right. Neck. Um, I bring this up and I ask this because it was real split. On my timeline and the replies from what I've seen, because you've seen a couple people saying, "Ah, oh, another case of a celebrity just getting off, and all oh, the lawyers paid off people." Ah, 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 ah. And on the other hand, it was people saying, "Yo, this is crazy. Maybe we shouldn't jump to conclusions when shit happens." Because originally, once we seen the photos of the woman and seen her neck was broken, everyone deemed them guilty and shit like that. Mm-hmm. But now with this coming out, you have the people taking the stance of, oh, this is why you stay on the fence. This is why you stay neutral. Ah, ah, ah. I want to ask y'all what do y'all think it is? Because me personally, I still think he's a piece of shit that did it. I just think genuinely old girl didn't want to press charges. She's trying to protect him. And motherfuckers got paid off. Can y'all not read? Yeah, I'm about to say that was one charge, ain't it? Yeah. What? What happened? I was about to say, um, whatchamacallit? It Wait, couldn't this be a case of like he wasn't found guilty for the charge, but he still could have been guilty of doing something else type shit on some Megan Tory shit. So so from what I from what I understood, what I read and what I saw, um, they dropped one charge uh basically because they they lack of evidence. They couldn't prove that this was the case or they couldn't conclusively say that this was the specific cause of this. That doesn't mean that he didn't do it. 
Yeah, that's yeah, just for no, the second no degree murder. It. Uh, what you call it? Second degree assault, right? There's other charges involved. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, who said he didn't do it? Dude, your question is essentially. I didn't say that. I was your question about jumping to conclusions. Well, no, I was asking after hearing, or did, if y'all didn't see, where does that stand with y'all? Because I know we talked about it a little bit when it happened. I know how I feel. I still think the nigga is still guilty today. I, don't know guilty. Of, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna say, despite what fucking got dropped or whatever, I still think the nigga is guilty. But I was saying because it was a, I, I seen a fair amount of people saying, "Oh, see, ah, another case of us jumping to conclusions." Ah, ah, ah. I wanted to see what niggas stood it or how niggas. Yeah, stood this that. ain't this ain't even on the same lines of the parasocial thing. There's a weird thing on the internet where everybody cosplays as a thug, and one of the main cosplay tactics is any nigga should be free. <laughs> any and every nigga should be free, no matter what that nigga does. This niggas, what the fuck? You know, I know that there's no reversion unless he is proven not guilty of every charge, and they, they literally come out and say, "Yeah, that bitch was just lying." I, I don't even know. I don't even know how this got that far. That bitch was just straight up lying. What the fuck, man? Get on, bro. Yeah, that I, I agree with Sage. Essentially, it's like okay, he might not be guilty of this specific charge because out of these four points. He missed one, so he's not guilty of the specific charge. That didn't mean he didn't do it. So this whole I told you so shit, the, o- the only ones hopping to conclusions is the Mr. I told you so. That's that's it. So. Just, real quick, real quick, the ones that want to so, see him play basketball. Just, just so motherfuckers can get off my dick talking about Damo Reed more. Again, I just read what the headline was. Still said I don't think the nigga's not guilty. And there you go. Boom. The first two are literally examples of what the fuck I was talking about. Dick suckers, damn! Oh, get off shit. your fucking knees, whole ass niggas. But they That's can't read. They can't read. They just can't read. They don't know how to read to interpret. They don't know. I mean, they can't. They have no. Uh, it's not critical thinking, but they can't. Uh, uh, comprehension. Comprehension. Yeah, the reading comprehension. Like it's clearly saying, if, if people read it, hey, he has thirty charges. One of them got dropped. He still has twenty nine charges to you know <laughs> get through in this conversation. It's just I ain't gonna see in a couple months guilty, but I thought what? Man. That's kind of a whole tweet though, because I feel like they knew what, what they was doing with that tweet. Man, you, man, you know, I don't think that tweet was that bad. I, 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 well, people can't, people don't have good reading comprehension skills. So if you want to say that, but I, if I'm yeah. not, can you pull that tweet back up, Domo. Well, I'm, 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 I'm just saying, like, like twice. Certain, certain people know that people can't read. Take that? They're gonna word something a certain way. And I. Can, it says Manhattan Assistant District Attorney announced that the second degree assault charge against Kevin Porter Jr. will be dropped due to insufficient uh, evidence. This decision came after it was revealed that Porter did not cause a break in his girlfriend's neck. Um, I mean, yeah, they can put more in there for sure to give more context. Um, you just got not to read. Hold on, I might be a dick now. Don't, don't be no, no, my, my shit ain't like yours. My shit ain't like yours. Oh, <laughs> until oh, it is. Uh, until okay, it is. until it is. There's uh, some titties on there. Like, yeah, every time I do a Twitter roulette, there's a motherfucker in my chat. Has Domo been retweeting like crazy lately? <laughs> like, all right, bro. <laughs> no, fuck. I haven't been. <laughs> want want the under been... to hit so bad, bro. Like, oh no, y'all gotta follow. Y'all gotta follow my burner, man. That's where it gets real freaky over there. No cap. <laughs> Yeah, I just know some people can't um, read in that conversation. Besides, what's your question of the week? Um, before I do the question of the week, I, I do genuinely want to ask uh, about another topic. Have y'all been keeping up with um the sniper wolf situation? No, only slightly. I okay, Rez so, is like on it. <laughs> so y- y'all know who sniper wolf is, right? She she does the yeah. reactions for kids and and all of that. So there's this channel called Jax Films who for the last damn near year has been making videos exposing Sniper Wolf, making streams about Sniper Wolf's content, doing bingo boards and all that shit. And if you literally look at his channel right now, over the last year, I'd say, and he uploads like once a month, eight of these videos are about Sniper Wolf. He has a second channel, which is essentially stream highlights, where like all of them are just Sniper Wolf like, let's just say hypothetical, like drinking games, um, bingo games, and all, like everything is just about Sniper Wolf being an ass content creator. So mm-hmm. then Sniper Wolf um, apparently at, was shooting something five minutes away from Jax Films' house. So she goes on her story talking about, 
oh, I'm five minutes away from Jack Holmes' house. Should I pull up? And then I think a couple um, minutes later, literally takes a picture of Jack Films' house. Hey, yo. Like, like hey. on her story. Can, you want to talk outside and, uh, and then talk like adults? Like the uh, actual picture of the house and everything. It wasn't no address, with no, like, straight picture of the house, outside the house. So Jack's, Jack's Films has gone on Twitter talking about how, like, yo, she, she docks me. This is a violation. This is a... Yeah, this is this is a fucking crime. Um, and then there's this there's just been this whole debate about how like, you know, so you've been playing dirty this whole time, essentially harassing her. And I know like Sniper Wolf is not the most like she's she's problematic in her own way, in her own ways, but you have dedicated your whole content creating career to essentially like harassing this woman on some like Dylan Dennis type shit. Um, but now that she wants to fight back, now it's a problem type shit. So I don't know what, what y'all th- me ultimately, and, and y'all can speak after this. I just think they're both weird. To be honest with you, dedicating your whole content career to harassing this woman, even though she's childish, she's a content thief. This, that, and the third. To make it your whole brand, to just talk about this one channel, I think it's corny as fuck. But on her end too, it's like yo, you legitimately committed a crime. What's his like, What's his channel name again? Jax Films is the main one, and then mm. uh, J. J. Jax Films is the channel he does the. Okay, um, okay. Ludwig did a video on it that summarizes it. If we want to watch it, it's like nine minutes. Sniper Wolf came to. Yeah, um, she should actually be deplatformed. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah. She should a hundred percent be deplatformed. No, um, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Because having having an address stocks specifically with the the mass number of followings she has. We're not talking about somebody random. We're talking about somebody, you know what I'm saying? A pretty big name. That's crazy to me. YouTube co signed her too. They had like an event a couple co-signed months ago. Co signed that situation? No, no, no. Sniper Wolf oh, as a creator. God, I was about to be. No, oh. no, 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 no. That's, that's crazy. Wow. But me, like, there was damn. an event they did a couple months ago, and they were like, thank you, Sniper Wolf, for coming to our event. You are the embodiment of what a YouTuber should be, this, that, and the third. I'm like, really? A reaction channel <laughs> doing this type of shit? Is the embodiment of what a YouTuber should be. I feel like there's so many other examples you could have used. You could have used Mr. Beast, god damn it. But for real. Yeah. Uh, I'll get I'll go out the way. I don't know these people at all. And they're well known. So my fault. But uh from what I've heard, based on your debrief, yeah, I think with you twin, I think they're both weird, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually more towards the docs and shit, bro. I don't know. Maybe it's just the federal activity, maybe it's the fact that you could have really put someone in danger. Or you probably have already flipped the first domino if a situation like that were to occur. Now nah, that's not cool. That that's literally a conscious decision that you make to essentially give you a twenty percent chance to harm a motherfucker. That's that's fucked up. I don't really fuck with that. Let me let me clarify this too, because Gilly Monster said whole career. Jack Holmes is an OG. What the fuck you mean whole career? I'm not talking about his whole career, like as a whole was about Sniper Wolf. He definitely had a platform beforehand, but I'm looking at his channel right now. There's definitely a difference of content between what he was doing two years ago. Like, this I'm looking at the titles channel. right now. Twitter is a broken mess. Uh, grading your terrifying Shrek creations. And then just three months ago, or three, yeah, everything is two just months about ago, Sniper, Wolf. It's Sniper Wolf. It's two months straight yeah. of just Sniper Wolf content on his account. On, on and then oh, he made a whole I, last I damn near oh, second yeah, yeah. channel. Just straight Sniper Wolf, Sniper Wolf, Sniper Wolf, Sniper Wolf. So, yeah, again, it's, it's I don't listen. Crazy. Ultimate, if, if I had to pick a side, I am on his side because a crime was committed against him. That is a violation of privacy. Sniper Wolf shouldn't have done that. But at the same time, like, bro's a weirdo too. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, bro's a weirdo both, too. Yeah, they both okay, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Real, 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 real okay, quick, real quick. Let me get mine off because I ain't gonna hold you. Y'all chatting. Protect women. Fuck this nigga. Fuck oh Jack him off. Uh, fuck Jack him off films. Who's Jack him off? Um, <laughs> fuck him. Jack Jack him off. Fuck him. Um, he deserved every bit of it. You make you literally spend how much time, effort? Share your, share your screen if you can, because the, nah. the channel is crazy. No, it is crazy. But if they but if they come and blow his asshole out, it's a different story. Oh wow. You, hey, you're right. It is, but that's not the story right now, is it? Nope. So this <laughs> nigga's a dick. Um, I'm completely nah. I, obviously, the doctor shit's lame. You definitely don't need to dox nobody. But nah, I mean. I see the vision. Bitch, I just think I'm outside. Fuck are you talking about? <laughs> no, I'm outside. You want to you post about me for two months? Literally, look at this chat. 
You want to post about me for two months? I'm outside your house now. I didn't see the picture. Did she like show this nigga's address or anything? Or no, a, a legitimate like it was an Instagram story. She went on on Instagram, swiped left, took a picture of it. Mm-hmm. Yo, I'm outside. Let's talk about this like real adults. But like in, in the picture, was there like, yeah, was, like the, the number to the gate or the street, all that? Fuck them. <laughs> That's what. Hey man, stand on business. Fuck you talking about. Fuck yeah. the nigga. If I'm a, gonna, I'm, hey, if you gonna commit crime, fuck it. Commit the crime, bitch. I don't, hey, stay on bed. She need to get right back on social media and be like, hey, guess what, pussy nigga? Swipe left. I'm outside again. Fuck are you talking about? <laughs> oh my like, god, bro. Stay on business. Fuck them. Feel like I'm outside your actual people. job. I'm outside your like, job. I'm really people. outside. Like you on the internet. I'm really outside, nigga. Like what is like another case? Like we talk about annoying. It's off winning games when I can sit in the luxury of my home and. Talk all the, I can oh only imagine God. what the fuck he said all about right. her for two months. It's all fun and games where you can sit behind the screen and profit on he, talking shit about her. But when she outside, now we gotta call. No, the no, 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 no. From my, from my, from my understanding, it's just been critical of like the content that she's made. It because because <laughs> Sniper Wolf has like, and it's you know these these that side of YouTube gets real like anal about art and stuff like that and nerdy stuff. Yeah. So she'll like replay a clip two to three times or repeat something out just to drag it so it gets to this eight minute mark so you know how people fill it fill, filibustering or just you know in real time with the actual content um so that's what they be making fun of they make fun of that repeat edits uh throwing a clip back into it to just extend the time frame or whatever the case may be now i haven't deep dove into all of his content so if somebody's like yeah omar he does that but he also talks about her dead mom like, all right, that, you know, that's a different conversation. <laughs> that's I don't, very different. I don't, I don't know nothing about that. I just know about, you know, how they talk about her and her art style, which they talk about all the great, you know, people's art, art style. I do like Mr. Beast's new uh, videos, though. But I, I'll say that last yeah. one, I genuinely, like, not even, hey. Mr. Beast, dare I say, is cool. elevated. It. Yeah, that, that nigga's on time. Keep watching. Calm little house. Um, yo, what's it called? <laughs> but, but what I will, what I will say is this. All right, so let me ask y'all this. You make a video about, and and we have people that do this, so I'm I'm just trying to see where y'all stand. You make a video about Jordan Poole. Mm. That Jordan Poole video gets like 500k. Jordan Poole watches the video, he responds to you. You make a response video to Jordan Poole, you get it. You get 1.4 million. Mind you, this is abnormal for channel sizes that we have. This this right, would be right. crazy. Mm-hmm. Um. I don't know. Uh, 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 John Wall responds to you about your comments on Jordan Poole. So you make a video responding to that as well. And you get 1.7 million or some shit like that. Some crazy number. And then you go back to make like a Rockets video or something and get a like 30K. I was going to say 50K. (laughs) Now, what you do? What do you do? Tell me what you do. Jordan. Wait, wait, wait. wait. And and, And in that same and. Opening night, Jordan Poole stinks the bed. What do you do? What's your next video? What's your oh, next, my video? next video? My next video Jordan Poole stinks the bed is obviously I'm talking shit about Jordan Poole. Um, but in reality, if Jordan Poole doesn't think it's off season or whatever, in, in the all actuality of what the fuck is going on with our channel, well, everybody's channel here is better than mine, but for my channel at least, I'm genuinely gonna go back to just posting the shit I want to post. I'm not gonna just niche down to let me chop a fake beef with every single NBA player, because that's not me. Because now you're gonna, because then you're gonna get to the point where you're selling yourself out and you just doing shit. But it might get to a point to where now Jordan, I'm five videos in. Now Jordan Pool is Snapchat in my house. Now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna play the victim. Like nah, you, you open the door. <laughs> CAP. I swear you, it's not cap. Boy, I'm, if you boy, I'm boy, done. them. I was like, what you think? Yeah, 1.7 million. Yeah, yeah, million. Yeah, you thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. I know. Nah. Look, 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 look. I, I'm a keep it a thou. Wow. And I know this because outside of the call out part, I was in a situation where I was talking way too much shit about that nigga Kyle Kuzma. I was, I ain't gonna lie. I was wilding, bro. <laughs> and I'm saying, looking back in the videos, Clippers of Kyle Kuzma, my fault, bro. <laughs> this shit is crazy. <laughs> but I, I'd be the first nigga to tell you this. Them niggas suck tomorrow, and I knew I had a million. 
Hey, man. I, this nigga's a I motherfucker again, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, I said I would talk about him if he had a bad game. Yes, I'm gonna go crazy. But if there's nothing there, and I just have to make, I gotta pull a flight, cash nasty, where I'm double reacting to my reaction of some shit, and there's nothing there. That's just forcing it. If Jordan Poole says something, yes, I'm going to keep engaging because this is content. If Jordan Poole is saying something to me, if ex-NBA player is saying something to me, cool. I'm not going to go out of my way to create some makeshift beef to then try to profit off of. That is what I'm saying. So if there's you nothing there, I'm okay, not going okay. to hit you. Let me, right, let me clarify this. All right. Jordan Poole, first, sh- you know what I'm saying, first video on Jordan Poole. You get that shit out. All right. Jordan Poole calls you out. Do the reaction video. Jordan Poole has a shitty game. You do that video. Mm-hmm. I think the difference is, if you want to make that Jordan Poole shit at the bed video, go ahead. But if your next video is a Jordan Poole drinking game, if your next <laughs> pool is, the, the video after that is, hey, let's react to Jordan Poole lowlights on stream, okay? Thank you. If, if the next thing is, uh, Jordan Poole posted this on his story, oh my God, Jordan Poole's new girlfriend? That's the line, bro. Be so, be so, be so, be so, be so, be so, now, again... If I'm getting, bro, one out of right. ten, two out of ten, one out of ten, two out of ten, one out of ten, two out of ten. Niggas right. is lying on stage, okay. Chad. Okay. If that's you want, all I'm gonna say. If you want to do it for money, go ahead. But I'm, again, that's some weird I'm activity. All right, all right, all right. right. So if I pull no up, no nigga lying on stage. If I pull up somebody's channel right now, y'all gonna stand on business? Pull up my channel right now. I stand on business. No, 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 no. If I pull up somebody else's channel <laughs> who does the same thing. They talk about the same people over and over again. You gonna stand on business and, and say that you, you say, stand on business? I want to see what Vso's does. Go ahead, Let's see what the channel is. He talking about, about me. He talking about me. No, 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 no. I know he about to pull up. I feel like I know he about to pull up. It's, it's somebody it's totally about. different. I just want to know. Oh, that's what you're talking about. That's what you're talking no, about. I, I know you feel like I know. Stop! 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 What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? I mean, I'm gonna stand on business. So you gonna stand on business? I'm the type of nigga to stand on biz, nigga. One verse 50, I'm good, nigga. Well, know what even is standing on business, bro? What is that? <laughs> I'm standing on business. Oh what is that, bro? What do people start saying that, bro? What the no, fuck? No, man. Standing on business, man. What is, what man. is that, bro? God. Nah, Juicy got to stop. All right? <laughs> Juicy do it to it. I'm not. I, I, I went and looked at this channel. It's not even crazy like that. But I, I just wanted to know the extent. Because if you see, oh, I'm supposed to be an X type channel, but hey, man, this one type of video, I can, man, it's getting lots of views. If I continue down this rabbit hole, even if it means ultra well, niche, I'm thinking now, of like three channels now, bro. <laughs> I, I'm know, I, I know exactly channel, who you're talking about. I feel like I know exactly who you're talking about. I got about. two guesses, and I think one of them can't be wrong. I'm <laughs> <just saying. laughs> I know. <laughs> I think one of them came wrong right well, now. We know what's going on. Okay, <laughs> but 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 even and and I read some of the comments because I'm on like um what's his name uh uh what's damn um damn I can't forget this nigga's name. Say my life. penguins, Charlie's videos right now. Um, he he's saying that or some of the comments are like you got to also think about Jack's videos. Like it's giving credit to the creators of some of the content that Sniper Wolf is reacting to as well. Um, so that's also the purpose of the videos. Sure, making fun of Sniper Wolf, making fun of the bad that she does, the the cringy, corny, et cetera, et cetera. But also we're giving credit to the people's content that she's reacting to, to that she's ripping and not giving credit to. So I think that that's also important too. I don't know at that point. Yeah, moist critical. That's why I don't even know. I call him Charlie like that. Like I know that nigga. But yeah, moist, moist critical. What's the call? <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's. I think that that's important to to acknowledge in this, which makes what he's doing just a little bit more credible. So, hey man, if my channel takes a turn one day, I, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. So you're telling me he's an ethical dick sucker? Is that what you're telling me? It could be. <laughs> it could. I, I, no, is that what you're telling me? It sounds like yeah. But dick I don't. Sucker. But I don't. I don't view him as a dick sucker. If he's, oh, I view him. I view him more in like the 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 fashion of a Robin Hood. Like he's talking about the rich. Oh hey, God. we see what you're doing. Oh. Hey man, I know we see what you're doing. Robin Hood was rich himself. You you yeah. stretch it. Oh, that's true too. You stretching <laughs> out these eight minute videos with like double edits and chops and all this stuff like that. And at the same time, yo, shout out to McGurky uh, Squirky, who makes these types of videos. And that's who Sniper was reacting to. I don't see no problem with it, man. 
I guess. Hey, stay on business, Big Snipe, man. Go out the nigga house again. Matter of fact, you know big what you should snipe? do? Snipe? Make oh it a routine God, yeah. to stand outside this nigga house and take a picture for two months. How about that? Go ahead, Big Snipe. Stand on business for real. Out his, outside his house every day and take a picture and post it to some story. It only got to be the same story. One day do Snapchat. Next day do Instagram. Throw a Facebook story in that motherfucker to really throw them off. Just keep just any story. YouTube story. I didn't know they still did those. It's how I really went on YouTube on my phone. <laughs> Niggas still got YouTube stories. Post they got them. Twitch stories. They got Twitch stories now. Yeah. Post right, on Twitch stories. Big yeah. Snipe. She'll go to jail. Don't do that. <laughs> she is going to jail. I, I feel like she. I, I don't she'll, know. She'll go to jail. She keeps doing that. Um, stop. Don't do that again. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. Talking about big snipe. That, <laughs> this is crazy. What are they talking about? That is. That is. Uh, do a video weird. next time. Um, Damo, <laughs> what is your question? Or did you did you did your question of the week? Was the uh? Well, that was just a no, another topic just, I wanted. That was just. A, oh, I do oh, have a question. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought you, you yeah. folded it in there. Okay, right. get, get it off, big souls. All right, man. You're on a four-hour car ride. All right? Gay son. <laughs> start it over, start it over. You're, you're on a four-hour car ride. You can only listen to one album that whole car ride. What album are you Damn. listening to? There's one album. So on repeat. You know, my body ain't sleep. I'm going to bed. <laughs> really <laughs> no, you're one. driving. You're driving. Oh, I'm still going to sleep. <laughs> no, this nigga, I'm getting a Tesla. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> That's an air ball. Oh, you think I'm a Tesla? No, we're dying. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> um, four hours though. Yeah, four. four hours. Yeah. So I have to listen to the same album. album. So basically, two and a half times. Yeah, What's that shit is an hour and a half. That's. Yeah, Don't Chris Brown got like a four long song. <laughs> yeah, that's oh. what I'm saying. At least I can get new music. Oh, for this scenario, I ain't gonna lie. I'm about to put on Scorpion, man. Long ass album, mix of wow. R&B and hip hop. You know, I have to put on Scorpion specifically. Okay. I was thinking all the dogs, but I'll pick pick a different artist now. Indigo by Chris Brown is two hours and forty minutes. Um, yeah. You got it, girl. You I don't even it. know if there's like songs that I definitely like on there like that, but I am gonna go with Indigo just because I won't have to hear two like the yeah. songs. Too I'm many trying times. to. I might cheat. I really might cheat. I looked at an album. I saw one person in chat say it, and I was like, "No way that counts." If this counts, <laughs> or Kelly trapped in the closet, one through eighty-seven. <laughs> <You're saying. laughs> oh my god! Yeah, if this counts, this is my answer because holy shit! Give me that uh, Michael Jackson album where it's just essentially the essentials. It's essentially all his greatest hits. Give me mm. that, bro. Let me let me just let me just slap random hits together because I'm not even going to be intrigued into the same story three times. So let me just that's hear that. That's a fact. I'm going to you. Be so. Um, mm. Are y'all going? Yeah. I, was, uh, I, was give me... that. I was like, does that count? <sighs> I said Scorpion. So. Yeah. If it doesn't, I'll look something else. E40 there. has a 44 song album. Does it have to be? It has to be an official album, or it can, it can be like a, a fan made album. Nah, it definitely gotta official. be official. It definitely gotta be official. You, you trying to, we're trying to make TikTok clips, bro. What the fuck? Come on. <laughs> <I'll>, <laughs> hey, that's, hey, Damn. That's the young boy. What fuck you talking about? Who are you I, just potting? Hey, that's the young boy. Um, nah, uh, I would say. I mean, me personally, I'm driving the whole four hours. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, give me goodbye, good riddance, Juice World. Four I can see that. Four hours. Yes. Yeah. I'm trying to think. I'm only laughing because of these two. I like that album, but it's these two <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm trying to think of something. An album, I that that album. A album that no cap I could dead ass sing no from start to finish for four hours. Yeah. Goodbye, good riddance, Juice World. Yeah, that's me. Which one? That the one with the car. I don't know about four hours of that. Yeah, oh, that's the man. that's the one with the car on it. Yeah. If I have to, Damn. if I have to not use the Michael Jackson one just so I can get to my own slander in the short, uh, give me off season. I want to see if I really fuck with that album or not. Let me go. Let me find out together. Cause I, we're past the point where it's too new for me to say it can't be this. Give it time. So now let's really spin that bitch twice and let's see how I feel about it. At that point. At that point. Not because it's be my favorite, but at that point, I want to see what's up. Four four angsty hours sounds absolutely disgusting. That's why I asked him. I drive if I'm driving, I'm singing through the whole thing. It don't matter. 
I'm still seeing shadows in my world. You can't take back the love that I gave you. It's to the point where I love and I hate you, but I cannot change you. I cannot change you. Uh, you're sad and done. I'm not you the one. one. Listen to my heart. Don't get me started. It don't hey. hurt as bad as it used to. <laughs> I admit, girl. Yeah, no, I did you too. I admit it's not what I do. I turn it, but I'll never abuse you. Oh, my last girl left. We have an audio. Yeah, that's platform. crazy. That's yeah. crazy. Lean with me. Pop Raw with me. me. <laughs> that's all you yeah, shit. You, stream, you stream in an hour. Oh, you get now. that. You get that oh, off now. in your next hour. All right, well, Omar, what'd you pick? Are you dead? I picking the Chris Brown album. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. It's, it's two hours and forty minutes of music. At least I don't have to listen to the same song too many times. I There'll be a certain cool, cool. combo. Say a what? The Indigo album tour. Oh, you said calm little. I thought you said come little. I was about to say, Whoa. um, I don't know. I don't, to go I, I don't know what you the Aki way. Come on, dude. <laughs> um, Jesus Christ. All right, Damo, go ahead, man. Question of the week. Gotcha. Uh, okay. This is basically. I, I do not have one. Nigga said question of the week. I didn't, why we got two questions of the week? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> <Nigga said it. laughs> question of the week. That's the funniest <laughs> expression a human can do. I keep trying to tell that niggas. <laughs> <laughs> I got y'all. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Filipino. Wouldn't be a good conversation. Um, <laughs> fuck it, man. Who's your finals predictions, man? Let's go. <laughs> next, let's go to the next, dude, bro. Let's go to the next. Sage, go next, bro. It's crazy. I go think we next. are going to talk a little basketball, but that's the first thing. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm folded, man. I don't so know. I don't know. Yeah. So, so we all got one in the chip. Yeah, we all got the sons, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, I thought I was about a bomb. Damo, you yeah. saved me. At least they get caught. This shit a hell, but punch through it. So, oh, uh, shit. Like so, I kind of took mine. So, my backup one is admittingly ass. It is still music related. But I did a ooh, fuh, 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 last night, drunk as hell, to determine the best song of 2023. Off the Dome. What has been y'all favorite song that has actually dropped this year? That I play, I'm, I'm gonna tell you the one I played the most from this year, and this is no troll. Boy's a liar, man. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> oh my god! Don't look inside your hey, heart. Is there hey, any room hey. for me? Yeah. Look, 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 look. Shout out to Ia. Shout, shout out, shout out, shout out to Ski Yeet. But I ain't gonna lie. She, a, she a baddie. She's shaking her jelly or whatever the fuck. Shaking like that. You want to run? But I yeah. just want the baddie. <laughs> Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, oh. That's my batch. The spice for the win, gang. Nah, yeah. it's definitely not that. Ski, ski is the song of the year so far. I, I ain't gonna lie. I I went out this weekend, and I got I got I got some stories from you going out this weekend. But I went out this weekend, took my little cousins to my 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 school's homecoming. I plan to take them around so they can get experience with, like a lot of colleges. The amount of times situations that ski is played just in random different places <laughs> and the impact that it has on people. Yeah. Ski, I'll say that. I go yeah. lot. Ski he hits a little different when you see like <laughs> big six, five, two, <laughs> 70 pound dude in the corner hugging the block with long. Ski. <laughs> no, it's the most influential <laughs> song. No, no doubt. Uh, what is it? Ski. Nigga has a, a a forty in his hand, talking about some ski ye. It hits different when that happens. I ain't gonna lie to you. Type shit. Bro, my bro. fam came up when we were going to the Philippines, bro. My sister, just out of nowhere, ski ye. What the? F- Whoa. 
You're 13. Hey, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. And you should have asked her. She, I bet you she knows all the lyrics to Pound Town. Mm. I didn't ask her that. <laughs> but I, 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 I assumed. I kind of assumed. Huh. You know Ski, you know Pound Town, bro. I ain't going to lie. And you probably look at your sister like, why is... Your coochie is not pink. I learned a lot about my sisters that fucking vacation. Let me let me tell you, man. God. Be so like I gotta go home more because yeah. they freaking down there. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> what the fuck? Going what on? the fuck? <laughs> Y'all tweaking that down there. Huh? Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, Who I is he? Huh? Be... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Who is he as well? Um... Well, I'm like, yo, my shit is not a turn up song. Uh, call your friends, Rod Wave. Probably played that the most, and that came mm. out like not too long ago. That's my shit. I'm surprised you ain't picking none of Yachty's jumps. <laughs> Yachty had some cool shit, but nah, not not 2023 Yachty. That's that's the, he, 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 I he, like he, it. I like uh, it, but the jump with Cole niggas is saying that's verse of the year part two. By the way, damn, it's Cole going back to back. But they saying that that jump might be verse of the year, not Yachty's verse. I mean, but yeah, apparently, he finally verse. got his uh, number one. So Cole, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, with the Drake shit. Or it was the Yachty shit. I think it was Drake shit. But yeah, I would say that's mine. So that that's definitely my song of 23. 23 so far. Shout out Peaches and Eggplants. Shout out Peaches and Eggplants. I ain't gonna lie. Shout out Peaches and Eggplants. Uh, maybe Yo. I'm a hype beast, nigga. Shout out Peaches and Eggplants. Yo, no cap. <laughs> I gotta watch what I'm playing around my daughter, bro. Yeah. I'm driving in a car playing Peaches and Eggplants. All I hear is fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm looking the river. You cheat back there. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. I'm like, oh my god. Between that and Ski, Ski Whoa. hey, Ski, you <laughs> play? Her little ass to be back there. Ski! I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what are you oh my god. No, Ski no, is no. the one, bro. I'm trying to, I, I don't know. Nah, no, Ski's most important. It is, I, bro. I, will, I will admit, Ski, I think Ski, and I know Pod niggas is going to hurt your heart. Ski's more influential than Pound Town, even. Ski, Ski is. Yeah. Which is crazy. That's an influential, Pound actually. Because yeah. Pound Town was. Uh, Sage, when is your um? When is your school's uh, homecoming? Like your, she, oh, man. <laughs> it just passed. Um, oh, you, did you go? <laughs> I'm happy I didn't. <laughs> Why? Oh, somebody got shot. That's all I'm going to say, yeah. bro. Yeah, I had yeah, a feeling. Yeah, yeah. All I'm going to say, Omar, it, look, the school I will go to, Bowie State University, a safe school, <laughs> safe school. The schools that they open the doors to <laughs> that was a bad idea, it was an awful idea. That's the oh, that's the one. That, oh my god, that's the one thing that I have like as a reservation for. Um, uh, because I want to bring my like I said, I want to bring my cousins to the homecomings so they can just you know, they, they seniors this year, they got to make decisions about college and shit like that. I want them to go to Spell House, the Spellman Moore House homecoming. I went one year, my god. <laughs> uh, crazy black women just beautiful it's nice out there both of those colleges are in the hood and i mean like the actual hood i mean like for real they shooting it up like that but they're gonna continue to party right after the shootout because oh no nah. that shit don't matter not, not in the burbs nigga <laughs> we saw someone running we ain't guess why they was running uh, and we we heard why they were running we went home <laughs> there was no eats after. Everybody was mortally scarred. We went on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I might. I might. No, we, we still gonna go to two K type shit. <laughs> nope. I ain't playing nothing. I'm over here. I'm over here deleting GTA. I don't, I don't fuck with guns see. no more. Whole bunch of light skinned women, dark skinned women, all of them beautiful. And all over here, all of a sudden, I me. Mean, oh I don't know. I can't. I gotta get up out of here. Um, my question of the week. Um, so the Braves got slobbered this uh past weekend. Just shout utterly, out big dick Nick Costiano. Utterly disappointing. Utterly cool. disappointing. <laughs> um I mean, just pissing on graves. One <laughs> big Bryce. Bryce the one on the uh the Phillies, right? Phillies. Yeah, yeah, he's on the yeah, Phillies. Yeah, yeah. Such an and, amazing and this don't this don't is this is I want to get to the part that actually matters with Bryce, you know, walking this in. Shouts out to all the Bryces, man. Bryce James, Bryce Harper, you know. Bryce I mean, Young? Uh, I don't know. I just know about those two. Uh, I, that's, that's the, like I say, sometimes, me. <laughs> sometimes you have experiences. Sometimes you need to learn the hard way. Maybe this is baseball etiquette. And I, I'd have done some shit like this, too. I, Jay, look at so, I'd, I'd have ran around the... <laughs> Nah, I'd have got cooked. No, nah, they'd be know. going crazy. Okay, so but I, I, I the reason why I brought it up in my, in my question of the week, the Braves had a historic season. Like, 
all time type season. The shit that they did was fucking nuts. And this is what the second time, third time in like a row that they've lost to the same team. Dang. What's what's the most disappointing regular season team that you've ever seen? Ooh. Does I mean, it have to like be just a general thing or like one of the teams that you follow type shit? No, I could be just a general thing. Oh, okay. that's a great question. I feel like an easy low hanging fruit is the Warriors in 2016. Yeah, let's get them out of the way. I feel like personally, the most disappointing one was the Randy Moss Patriots that were undefeated all year. Nah, they my pick. Stole my pick. Nah. That, between them, my both yeah. mine are football ones. That one and the 2011. Uh, Philadelphia Eagles when they had Mike Vick, Nami mm-hmm. Asimov, they just had loaded that team up, and them niggas was just dog shit. Just everybody. I think Nami Asimov got kicked out of America because I don't know where that nigga went after that season. It was over for him. I ain't even hear his name after that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I got, I got two. I want to go basketball, but I can't do it. Too many nuances in basketball. Too many times people got hurt. Football, two easy ones. One one is pure fandom. Steelers want to say 20, really, cold killer beer. Every time, ran into Tom Brady, always had the last play in our hands. I vividly remember one game. Someone will probably have it. Nigga threw a pick. And, like, Juju gets us to, like, the 10 or some shit. Whoever the kick returner is, we get to the five. Pick. Oh, man. But I think the most consensus one in football, and a lot of people will bring up the Saints, I'm actually going to stay in that division, Carolina Panthers 2015. That was insane of a meltdown. I ain't never oh, seen God. that shit. Them motherfuckers was, uh, look at my damn, dabbing all over niggas. Had the best linebacker in football. Had the most underrated receiver core in football. Shout out Greg Olson. She had everything. And for some reason, lights got too fucking bright. Palms got too fucking sweaty. And everyone looked like it was ass. Granted, Cam Newton was the biggest, biggest one. But everybody looked like they ain't had it. It's crazy. Cam, he said, he said most disappointed, right? Most disappointed. Yeah, most disappointing team. All right, me personally, 2019 Celtics. There was so much hype after 2018. <laughs> so much. Gordon Hayward was coming back. Kyrie was coming back. Tatum, Rozier, Marcus Morris, Brad Stevens. Brad Stevens or LeBron James? Who would you build your team around? Yeah. <laughs> Just to get bitch by Giannis. All right. <laughs> Another one. What was this? The, the 20... What was that? The 2019 Thunder. Yeah. Russell Westbrook, Paul George, Carmelo Actually, Anthony. Just mm. got straight dicked That's down by Damian Lillard. Straight mm. dicking down for a whole five games, bro. And to <laughs> to end on that, that was it, 40 foot bomb to drop 50 in an elimination game? Bad shot. Yeah. Yeah. That was special. Um, damn near any iteration of OKC. Uh, I, no, I'm with 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 Katie Harden, He's not wrong. Ibaka, Russ, yeah, my God, I think there's like two times where Nike is like, all right, we are about to like have great moments in marketing history. I think that's one of them. They they were just so let down with what happened. In OKC, OKC, just all right now. You know, are y'all lost the first time? Baby, OKC, whatever, whatever. Please beat the Spurs. We need y'all to face LeBron. Couldn't beat him. This shit. Could not beat him. And then an extremely underrated one, uh, my non-football one, 2009 Cavs. When when you Ooh. talk about primed I to agree. be there, I agree. no, I I remember I remember watching games of two different teams, fucking the Grizzlies and the Knicks or something like that, and they are like. Subtly promoing, oh, Lakers, Cavs, Lakers, Cavs. Yeah, with the puppets. With, yeah, with the, like LeBron and Kobe puppets. Nigga, yeah. Yeah, you promoing. had the script. And they get into the playoffs. I slobber knocked this in the <laughs> <laughs> I watch. I watched every one of those Cavs games. Um, and man, I just, I really feel like, I, I, for real, I felt like they got beat the hell up. And then the one game where they, um, where LeBron hits the buzzer beater, uh, my brother has to remind me, like, yeah, but look at what it took. I think LeBron had like 40 something that game. And he averaged like 39 that series, 38. Nigga went fucking disgustingly nuts. But it did not matter. Um Dwight Howard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> go out because Dwight Howard. Shout out and to Dwight. Then, but Dwight ruined that season, man. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, Dwight fucking ruined that season. Just to go out the way he did against the Lakers was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> did all the, yeah. Ruined yeah. that season just yeah. to get their ass whooped. Mind fuck. Speaking yeah. of the Lakers, I'm not gonna lie. 
Jimmy if Butler I have to give a basketball one, and this probably ain't this ain't this definitely ain't making the clip. But if I had to do a basketball one, everybody talk about 2012, 2011 Lakers. 2011 Lakers is low key crazy. Them niggas got. Oh yeah, yeah, I got your dick sucks too. I'm going. Oh, the way I swept bro, my the dirt. I'm sitting there like, proud. okay, is it a finger? It, it, like, what, what's up? What's up with buying them? What, what is going on? Because yeah, they what started popping their shit too. I ain't gonna lie, that's yeah, embarrassing. Like, what? Nigga, like, what when I happening? see, I knew it was over when Bynum straight tombstone JJ Bray out the air. I was like, yeah, we obviously we were supposed to try to get the three P just so carbon copy Jordan actually copy Jordan with six rings and all that shit. The script was scripting, and it was just like, okay, what's going on? Why can't we beat Dirk today? What what the fuck? Okay, we'll get him next game. Lost again. All right, we're in Dallas. Maybe that's what we need. Nope. Okay, if there is one person to make the comeback, you'd be Kobe. Nope. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Kobe with two three peats and potentially beat him. Make the- Nigga, the script was right there. That I, I swear, I swear. That is that's my that's my basketball one, bro. This nigga Bron had in that series versus the Magic. I think he averaged thirty nine, eight and eight. And, and I just <laughs> I, I know the box score says it was close, chat, but I promise you, it just it felt bad. It was, bad. Not, it, it was, it was bad. bad. But but uh, what's it called? Uh, my football one. Any team, any Falcons team, uh, pre Super Bowl. Wrong. <laughs> no, no, no. Pre pre Super Bowl is crazy because there were teams that we were losing to that just didn't make sense, and we were up on all of them. Like in all these NFC Championship games, we would be up versus the 49ers in the second half. Colin Kaepernick was like, "You know what, bro? I'm gonna go God mode." Mm-hmm. On the Packers, up next half, Aaron Rodgers. You know what, bro? I'm just gonna go God mode and. Our offense, weapons all over the place. Fuck it, I'm just gonna forget how to play football. I'm, yeah. I I I don't care about the Super Bowl. Football. I know I know I know niggas is talking about the Super Bowl and stuff like that. When we lost to the 49ers, I swear to God, I legitimately cried. I swear to God, I legitimately <laughs> no because we're we're up right. at halftime and then all of a sudden, um, Colin Kaepernick, a nigga who can't throw for real, all of a sudden was just like oh, superstar. Like, hey, yeah, just crazy. the best player in the fucking world. I don't blame you. I remember when I um, I remember when I was a kid and I cried over a Dolphins loss one time, and I was just so mad because he was ass. And I remember my mama asking me like, "What are you crying for?" I'm like, "I don't, I don't know why we're just so bad. Like, I don't get it. So why do you like them? I don't know." <laughs> go to your room. I said that. Yeah. Go to your room. Go to your room. Go to your room. Go to your room. damn room. Now I'm just. Now I don't know why I'm mad. I, I'm crying. I don't know why I'm crying. Now I don't know why I'm getting put in my room. I feel you. I, I, Holy I, shit! 2011 was an awful year for me because god damn, we lost to the Packers. That shit, I ain't cry. Not gonna lie, but that Packers loss was another. Really? <laughs> like just Aaron Rodgers? Really? Man, this nigga. I got my question. He, Go ahead, go ahead. I'm just I'm about to start reminiscing about 13 and 12. I guess. Not the T. Te- oh, you, fuck you, J Hope. You got it. But most painful Steelers L is Tivo. That hurt. That one hurt. Oh, I watched that, that one. Hurt. Hurt. I that one hurt. I go hey. lie. I did cry. That one hurt. You got it. Shout out to J Hope hey. right here. That I, one hurt. You I are. didn't. I was. That's when I was like staunchly against Skip Bayless for real. And the next morning, I ain't gonna lie, I started praying to Tebow. That nigga was ordained by God with them little side throws, nigga. He was, and all of them were through like windows that were this fucking big. And he was just putting it in there. I was like, oh, this nigga's fucking crazy. That fucking big 10 yards away, and magically it broke off the 70 yards. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I'm like, okay, okay, we good. We good. It's, 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 it's Thomas ain't never been fast. No, oh, never, not in his life. Bro. You need a whole play. It's Ike Taylor and Troy Palomalu, right? <laughs> Wait, uh, uh. It's Ike Taylor. What? He's still running? <laughs> shit yeah. pissed me off, man. <laughs> yeah, RP Demarius Thomas. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Chat, the, uh, RP. chat the person, by the way, he said uh, for a dollar, we're going to just gonna completely forget about the 2014 Seahawks. Yes, we are. Uh, mm. yeah, for most. I don't, care, I don't care enough to talk about them. That's the one with, is, is that the Malcolm Butler one? Yeah, they, yeah. they trolled themselves. That's that's I don't know if that makes an argument no, stronger or not. I guess that's the uh debate below. I think I don't consider them for most disappointing because they trolled themselves. They wanted to push Russell Wilson so hard like he wasn't already Russell Wilson. It was Rush I mean, on his fault. If that nigga would have just spoken goddamn post-game interviews, they wouldn't have to been worried 
about him getting the game ball and they wouldn't have to try to force it to be Russ and they would have won the game. But because this nigga is just here so he don't get fined, <laughs> now they're like, all right, well, we can't have this Negroid fucking up the promo at the end of the goddamn Super Bowl and not say he's going to Disney World and fuck up that money. So, yeah, Russ, do this shit, curly hair boy. Pick. Can I can I, can I show you something? And I swear, I, I probably I don't want to harp on this. Shit. I don't <laughs> swear to God, because like I had one of the greatest offenses. Uh, these in, Colin like, Kaepernick life. numbers, like oh, it's like ah, oh, yeah. Matt Ryan is really out there trying. Look bro. at that receiving core. I'm not trying <laughs> to put an agenda. This, look at this, this is what I said about the Falcons when you were talking. I said anything before the Super Bowl, Omar's about to yards. Because this is one of the greatest, oh like, God. roster offenses I've seen, bro. Like, Matt, and, like, I'm not a Matt Ryan fan. That nigga can throw for 5K, all right? <laughs> and look at this, Sage. They get shut out in the second half. For God. why? Don't know, bro. Yeah. Don't know. I Jones, just... White, fuck, fuck the running backs. Thank you, chat. Fuck the running back shit for a second. Mind you, he got running backs later. Julio Jones, Roddy White, and Tony Gonzalez in one squad with a quarterback that can throw 5K? Come on, bro. I don't know. That shit's tough. <laughs> Only Atlanta. Um, but tough. here's my question. Um, at what point did you guys know, A, that you, you know, you're, you're just older? Like, it really set in like, damn, I, I really am this old. I really am older. Or B, you knew it was time to grow up. I'll start. Mm-hmm. Um, literally, the other day, my girl, she, like, does, like, online tutoring for kids mm-hmm. and shit like that. So I don't hear the kids, but I like hear her and some shit like that. So I'm up here playing 2K. She's in there tutoring. And for whatever reason, she's t- asking the kid about their favorite movie and shit like that. And f- for I just hear, yeah, oh, yeah, like like Cusco, like Emperor's New Groove, you know, pull the lever, crank. And then awkward silence. Oh, okay, I must be old. I bust <laughs> into tears because you are tutoring first and second graders these kids are born in like 2009 yeah why the fuck do you think they would know about emperor's new groove (laughs) and you're just aging like yeah i'm old because now these kids they don't know about emperor's new groove that shit was hilarious to me i I literally was in this bitch crying laughing what are you laughing at i'm like pull the lever crunk that is a child why would they you better off talking about the bubble yeah that was was for me Yesterday, I seen on the timeline, bro said, yo, if you're over 20, caring about this brew shit, you need to grow up. <laughs> I care. <laughs> but, I, but I do care. The <laughs> 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 motherfuckers wanted to move the goal. Shit, if you're over 18. All right, <laughs> <laughs> all right serious answer, though? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it's just Over like the things that years. just the things I get happy about now and like excited about in terms of like what I want to buy type shit. Like, I was dead ass happy when I got a new pillow. You know what I'm saying? I was dead ass excited when I got this new chair. Like me, if I was 13 year old telling 13 years old telling myself I'm gonna get hype over a new desk and an office chair, I'd be like, yo, get your old ass back in bed, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> what are you talking about? But yeah. Shit. Me. Uh, I'm a I'm a pick one. I'm gonna say definitely when my style of comedy changed, or maybe perhaps like how long an ongoing joke can be before I get pissed off. Like, and I said I said it when they was joning on each other. So my my friends was joining on each other in the party, and I I vividly remember thinking to myself, I would think this shit is hilarious, but I just do not care. <laughs> like like I don't like yo. I'm playing the game. Shut the fuck up. And that's how I felt initially. But I was like, maybe the jokes weren't hitting. Then the next day, they do the same shit. And this time, they max it. They joining on the nigga for like seven hours. I know back in the day, I'd have been fucking crying laughing. Had my mom knock down my door and shit. Now, I was like, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all know that nigga did. (laughs) And and I was like, the party poop for the party? I was like, yeah. I, I mean, like... I'm growing. I'm old, bro. Cause I know back in high school that should have been the funniest shit ever. Um, 2015 Hawks. Add that to my list. Um, yeah, we should have got one game. One game on Bron, just at least. <laughs> <laughs> You're still old. Yeah. Nah, cause especially that game. That's on his he, question too. You tripped yourself though. That's when Jeff tough. T got when Jeff T went crazy, I was like, yeah, bitch ass nigga LeBron. My huge LeBron fan. Fuck is a Kyrie. <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah. And then them <laughs> niggas took it to OT, I think. Or no, they beat us in the regular season because Paul Mills have weak ass clothes out. Anyway, um, I probably when my dad died. I had seven older brothers and sisters, and they was looking down at me. Or they was looking up to me type shit. Damn. Yeah, no. Yeah. I just don't remember the Titans. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so crazy. I, was I don't seven. know. I, I was I've always been old. I always knew I was older. I don't really have an answer for that. I, all this, a lot of a lot of this stuff stopped being funny to me, interesting to me, young to me. Now I'll tell you this: the day that cartoons stop being interesting to me, maybe that'll be the day. That'll be the day where I really feel like, oh damn, I, ain't I don't. Think... How is it still interesting to you? Like, what's a cartoon that's still interesting? To you? Like new cartoons? You're still interested? uh fairly new, yeah, yeah, fairly new cartoons. Like, I'm being. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I don't yeah. think you're gonna. I don't think you're gonna grow out of it. Mm, I don't because know. Because of the fact, if because you still like it at 26. I'm about to say, yeah, you like it at 26, 27, and there's still, and I'm assuming you're not talking about like children's cartoons. You're talking about cartoons aimed towards an older audience, right? Like a next gen family guy, not it for you. (laughs) Oh, so you are talking about children's cartoons? Yes, nigga. (laughs) So new children's cartoons come out and you're still interested. Oh yeah, in yeah. that case I banned past my oh, shit. Yeah. Shout out yeah, Steven, Steven, Universe, Steven Universe. I couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. <laughs> the universe is eh. I'll be, I'll be, you know, I'll be watching I, I, I think, think my final straw for the cartoon. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> I'm not, not even final straw because I like this show. The last you know, I show. The show. <laughs> what you mean, Greg gonna agree? Yeah, there's the fuck. <laughs> Fucking babies. <laughs> what is the last new show, niggas? Fuck. I think my last new show. Is Gumball? I think that's the last show I remember that was new. I was like, I'm cool with it. Or Invincible, regular show, counts. whichever lasted longer between it's Gumball not, and regular cool. show. No, I would say that last era. The last era I really gave a fuck about was that regular show, Adventure Time, Gumball era on right. the Cartoon Network. That yeah. was the last era I didn't give a fuck about. After that, when fucking Steven Universe and Fanboy and Chum Chum and shit. Oh, 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 oh. not too much of Fanboy and Chum Chum. That was a little older. Hold on. Oh, no, relax, no, relax. no. That show sucks. Chum- no. Hey, Fanboy and Chum Chum was mindless fun. I don't give a fuck. What? What you I, I, I'm glad as I'm, I'm, I'm glad as that you said it was mindless fun because that's that's who they made it for. <laughs> I know, hey, I was the target bro, audience. I know that shit playing. was ass, bro. Nah, Fanboy and Chum Chum went hard. Please, uh, all right, Uncle Grandpa, we we can. No, reach. Uncle Grandpa. Okay, was thank you. Awesome. That's the worst, the worst cartoon I've seen in my life. Uh, I don't know about y'all. Never seen Juno for Lee. Clarence, Clarence is fucking awful. I don't uh, know how many. Uh, well, I don't get it. Oh, you like Clarence? I don't get it. I don't you get like it. Clarence? Yeah, like Kate Wachowski. Oh, I thought you Wachowski. How? How? Wasn't he how autistic or something? Wasn't he autistic or? But you like fanboy and Chum Chum, and they not autistic. <laughs> I think they got like Aspergers or something. No, they I'm don't. Cause they're Aspergers. No, they don't have Aspergers. They're dumb. Them niggas got something. Bro. They're... I mean, they no, also ra- got something. I randomly watch an episode of Fairly Odd Parents lately, and like, I never thought it was that fucking fast paced. Like, what the fuck? Everything happens so fucking now. fast. Oh, yeah. Well, all, yeah. actually, all did they change it? Did they change the editing? No, no, no. All, all cartoons are pretty fast, relatively speaking. But you just. I don't know, cause my my girlfriend didn't watch a lot of the shows that we grew up watching, pop probably. So right now, um, she's rewatching Adventure Time and uh, regular show. Yeah. But she thinks regular show is the craziest thing in the world, cause it's just so it's fast. It's it's yeah, it hella zany. They just be doing random stuff, and the episode's over. And I was like, oh, you think that was bro. Crazy. The episode literally. starts. He, he, Timmy Timmy goes into Comic Con. Literally, mm-hmm. quite literally, two seconds later, the Crimson Chin just comes out of comic book. Oh, the Crimson <laughs> Chin! And then five seconds later, he is back in his comic book, and Timmy Turner needs to go back into the comic book to save the Crimson Chin. All a matter of like thirty seconds. Like what the fuck? God damn, Mister Beast! Fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm gonna lie. That's, that's, that's how that. That's how that shit was. I'm about to say oh. regular. That ass. The episode start. We're in line to get the Super Mega Supreme Sandwich. Two <laughs> seconds later, yo, he cut in line. Yo, bro. Nah, they cut in line, bro. And the nigga that cuts in line is like the god of death. He's right. <laughs> you just insult me? Now we got to fight, bro. Now these niggas are in hell. Nah, fighting. they cut. And I- uh... <laughs> That's so stupid. That that was regular show is so stupid. Nah, I think regular show was the first show since SpongeBob, and I was like, okay, these pedestrians cut up because I think Bikini Bottom is fucking nuts. I never want to live there. Them niggas just any random day want to kill you. Regular show, man, shit, you you'll bump into a nigga on the street. 
that's my bad shoulder. Oh, next thing you know, bro, the nigga, the nigga grows a fucking alien. Shoulder goblin, nigga, like, yeah, like what? what? Nah, I ain't even gonna the doodle you, bob episode, right. the doodle bob episode, so fucking. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? How did that come up into your mind to make a fucking episode? Wow, like, wow, 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 like, you wrote that shit. Man, oh, you know, you come on. Whoever be writing these shits, man. Yeah. They gotta be three lines. Some shit three lines, lines, bro. I'm about to say, Sage, you're right. I could never live in a bikini bottom because any given day, not only when niggas be ready to jump you, niggas would be able to roast you like, bro, for no reason. Bro, they was going through like, I forgot the thread. It was a thread on on, twi- on Twitter. Yo, these extras on SpongeBob be going crazy. And it was just a list <laughs> of the shit. The one where Mr. Crab was just sitting there sad. Mm, no, this this crappy body is all stale and old. Like an old man over there. <laughs> like an old man over there. Like right right there. Gonna be looking all sad. They're just old and dry. Like an old man over there. Man. And that one like, and right below it, it was Buddy walking up. Hey pal. So, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Hey, hey pal. pal, you're just flying from stupid town. <laughs> nigga, <laughs> nigga, when SpongeBob, when SpongeBob was go- on the way to get his little driver's license, he was like, "I just got my license." Yeah, I'm next. <laughs> I doubt it. Oh, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can I can I show you something? Because this is and and we may have to ban JoJo for this specific reason. Oh. Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Oh what is that? That's hope. That's frozen. That's not juice That's anymore, frozen. bro. That's oh, post. Yeah. That's post. That's all pope. Look, you about to pour it? Unless he did freeze it. Oh, let me see. That's a solid. No, that's free. That's that's frozen. It's not bro. frozen. That's pope. That's a solid. That's all pope. That no, is a hard. mango shake. No, bro. That is. Nah, 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 he I got juice, know. and I'm t- he got juice and put it in the freezer. That's said, no he way he kept no, that shit in no, the fucking. Not, that's not frozen. There's no ice in this. Is straight pope, dog. This is disgusting. There's no way that's just. What is it? Extra pope? What the fuck? Where's the orange juice? It's high pope, but they just put pope okay. up in there. High is your alive right green. now? This is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. Are you about to donate an axe? And what the fuck is up with that pope? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Jojo, is that Pope? Somebody said fake video. Relax. What you the Pope man? The fuck? You can never get the that Pope police. Oh, yeah, I actually have, a, I actually have a photo of high Pope downstairs, and let me tell you, that guy's a liar. Hmm. <laughs> that guy's liar. And if that's nah. how much Pope he's got, tell me where to get it from. Oh, nigga, nasty <laughs> ass boy. He's been, fake video, Omar. He's been collecting Pope. Like, all right, buddy. Like that Pope makes president. me any better. <laughs> Nigga's been stashing Pope to the side. All right, before we get up out of here, we do got to talk about just two more things. Um. Take it away with the fight, Damo. What happened this weekend? Oh, oh yeah, man. Um, This weekend, one, the Filipino sensation needs to retire because Salt Poppy, this ain't the life for you, buddy. Just stick to TikToks. Went out there, first three rounds. It was a great showing. He was confident. He was cocky. He was smiling. But he wasn't moving. He was sticking. Yeah. No moves. Got his ass be one man lit up. Out. Slim lit his ass up, and Salt Poppy went down. Next Damn. up, you have the matchup we all been waiting for: Dylan Dennis versus Jake Paul, which or Logan Paul, which everyone was waiting for. It was a lot of beef, a lot of drama, a lot Damn. of bullshit, a, 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 a lot of a lot of sausage on the timeline. Obviously, from his girl, from Dylan Dennis' point of view. And I ain't gonna hold you; I feel comfortable up here saying this. Dylan Dennis is a bitch. Not oh, gonna. Call a spade a spade. To do all the talking you were doing, to go as crazy as you was going on a timeline, to disrespect that man's woman the way you were disrespecting her, you would have thought he would have went out there and threw punches. The pussy didn't throw no punches until the fight was over and security got in the ring. He threw more punches at the security guards than he threw at Logan Paul during the fight. He also mm-hmm. tried to take Logan Paul down like on some jujitsu shit yeah. at the end of the fight, and it didn't work. Dylan Dennis, I don't know if anybody's told you this. I hope you've been staying on social media to avoid this, but I hope this is the one clip you can't avoid. You are a bitch. Oh, shit. Flat out, hands down, no if ands, or buts about it. You just went out there and robbed boxing. And if that is what a lot of these pro uh, combat sport athletes are going to do, they're going to talk all this shit, drum up all this attention, just to get a bag and go out there with some fucking content creator and not throw punches and just try not to get knocked out. This shit needs to get wrapped the fuck up. It was entertaining when it was KSI and Logan Paul 
both slugging and trying to fight and get better. But now you got all these old fucking bastards that are way, way past their prime, watched in their sport, getting their ass within their sport, being like, oh, I'm going to pick on the YouTube streamer and get this quick bag real quick. If I lose, I lose. I'm going to try not to get knocked out. I'm going to just try to get a bad. Niggas is robbing niggas blind. The shit was awful. And on top of that, Tommy Fury and KSI fought. KSI was robbed. You seen on the scorecards after the fight, one of the judges literally had the fight in uh, KSI's favor. And for whatever reason, changed his mind last second, scribbled out the score and wrote a new score so Tommy Fury could win. Shit was bullshit. Shit was weird. I don't know if it was for the original score would have had KSI and him drawed. I think it would have been a draw. Not a win. So, at first it was a draw, and it seemed like somebody hit him with the hit, hey, hit him with the cruise at the door. Hey, slot a twenty under the ID, and change that bitch, and now it's a draw. <laughs> so, KSI, I can't, was, I can't believe we stepped to the side and tried to pull that. <laughs> literally, literally <laughs> right in front of him. I'm sitting there like, are we just gonna? Oh, we think he's an NPC for real. This is, <laughs> <laughs> this is we, the real guy. We did that, man. We did that in that nigga's peripheral view. Like, that was a crazy time. That nigga heard us. He heard us multiple times be like, yeah, it didn't work. They're not going to let you in, Dre. Hey. And then watch us get with another group of people. Tell the same say, Yo, just use this card. Yeah, just, you know, this will work. This will work. Hey, this, this is how far off we moved. We literally said. <laughs> <laughs> niggas, niggas that ass went like, oh, we can't get in? Okay. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Do you, you want to use a different card? Put a twenty under. Hey, hey, buddy, hey, buddy. Use this hey, twenty. It's, it's something that I do all the time back home. Yeah. I do this all the time back in the other state that I'm not. Yeah. That I'm yeah. in. It's not this state. Yeah. Then super nigga pulled up. I'm like, bro, super nigga. He's right there. <laughs> He's right there. Like, oh man. I knew it was around when buddy was like, bro, bro. If y'all really want. Tips is down the street. They don't call. <laughs> I'm like, yo, he's out. I felt bad for Dre. Dre said, yo, this shit ain't going to work, bro. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Nah, All right, nah. let me do it. I told you. Was it <laughs> nah, the way he did, went about it was exactly like how Phil was supposed to. He said. <laughs> that nigga went like this. That nigga went like. He seen dude look at it and everybody had his ID looked at you. What the hell is James face, work. bro? What the fuck? <laughs> I don't need, I don't need, I really don't even blame Drake because he was really just adamant about like I promise yeah, you, you. Yeah, I promise you, you this ain't gonna work. Bro. We are we are within earshot. And crazy part about it is we're outside of like a bar. Music is blasting, and we're still within earshot of dude. We were way too close. There to was try no to pull line out. out there, chat. There was no line with Winky Dinky Club Pack. Nobody outside though, bro. We are in earshot of this man. That was that was a crazy ass time. I do. I want to pull this up real quick. Um, oh, <laughs> that was crazy. So this is the one that everybody's mad about. Logan Paul threw 330 punches. Dylan Dennis threw 70 punches. I didn't even see 70. I swear to God. I don't even know ball. Like, that's crazy. Even, oh, he, yeah, he landed it felt 16. felt like dead ass 10, though. Dead ass. And this is, uh, what is this, over the course of six rounds, right? Yeah. Um, Three minutes. Now, mind you, this is after mm. all the trash talking day in, day out. And not day in, day out is an exaggeration. A literal day in, day out trash talk of his fiance. Um, you know, hacking the phone is with the court case. I mean, he has a court case to fight after this. Yeah. Maybe that's what he was saving his punches for, but he has a court case to go after this based off of what was going on in this. So that I think that that's just like, cowardly isn't even like the yeah. that's not even the word. That's a crazy concept for a nigga that just talked all that shit. Like literally talked all that shit. That's I ain't gonna throw that bitch word around, but that is that's some different shit that I seen. Based on the minimal context, I ain't even watched the fight. I just seen how he tried to fuck bro up when I think the bell was about to go off or the thing went off. I seen yeah. that. I'd seen the con. I remembered who bro was. I was like, ain't that the nigga that was talking crazy? And then I heard he ain't throw no punches. That ah, a a hey that just. I know you ain't don't a lot of words word outside word. of that. I ain't going to throw that word around because that's fighting words. And I don't even know. Well, he ain't going to fight you. He ain't going to punch you. So <laughs> you might not punch me, but. I, that's you know, why I feel comfortable saying it because he's not going to punch me. He's going he gonna to try to grab me. Is, oh, he's not going to punch me. But no, after, crazy, not only did he talk all that shit for months, not only did you hack that man, that man's fiance's phone to post whatever you want to post on her. The night before, you threw a microphone in his fucking face. 
That's what I'm really mad about. He that cut Jake Paul, uh, Logan Paul has on his on his face. It wasn't from the fight. The night before, when they did the face-offs, Dylan Dennis threw his microphone in his face and cut him. So you have the balls to throw a microphone in a man's face, all that no tough shit security. But as soon as y'all get in the ring to fight, you're not fighting. You're still goofing off. You're just throwing your hands up. And then when the fight's over and it's hella security, that's when you want to let your hands go. Well, he's that's still talking that. trash too, because I'm on his I'm on his Twitter right now. Um, he said pussy ran for 18 minutes. I mean, he's this is after the fight. Oh, yeah, he's still trying, but that ain't gonna lie. The the rules don't hit the same at all now. I thought we seen him fight. Yeah, that's some. That, I, 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 I'm comfortable saying that's some punk ass shit. That's some punk ass shit. I ain't gonna lie. It is. Yeah, I hope the. I, I hope whatever happens in the court case is just just weigh in like Logan Paul and his fiance. Fuck that guy. That shit was lame as fuck. Yeah. So I know, Damo. Yo, your profile picture on Twitch, bro. I seen it when I first looked. Yo, that Zion picture is so funny. Yo, that Zion picture is hilarious, bro. It's hilarious, bro. (laughs) Why is he looking like Yo, fucking (laughs) and you know what's crazy? Did that not come out like right before the fucking Mariah Mill shit? So the fact that it's like, bro, that shit has like triple meaning now. Like, you're a freak. (laughs) It's one thing if it's just that picture, that picture knowing. What the fuck you got going on? You freaky fucking frog. Oh my god. Well, speaking freak. of uh yeah. I, I well, that's what that was gonna be the last thing we was talking about. Um <laughs> but, you know, preseason has started. Y'all y'all been wanting to talk about basketball. Any <gasps> early observations? Yeah, no. Early oh, observations you, from the preseason? I go. I only got one. Um saw, saw, saw Zion. I didn't know they were gonna be in like the G League arena. In the, mm-hmm. the WNBA arena when they came, I would have went to that game. Um, he is still fat. All right, yeah, oh, no, he's yeah, he's still fat. I just thought all that, all that ploy about whatever, and and not only is he, um, you know, aesthetically at least to me looking fat, he's moving fat. He's playing like old people defense though. Ah, <laughs> young fella got around with me. Ah, the little, the little hard swipe. Dang, you know what's crazy? Um, on my stream, I, I was watching Duke highlights. Yo, Zion moving was different, moving different, bro. Moving different. And, and then as I was reminded, like going into that draft, I was just as excited, or damn near as excited. I don't know about just about like his de- defensive capabilities whoa, as much whoa, as his offense. Bro. Whoa, 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 whoa! What? The whoa. F- whoa. What? All right, bro. What did he yeah, say? Chat? <laughs> not gonna. Not gonna lie, you're that was sick, fucking bro. gay, homes. <laughs> Yeah, cut it up. You was hyped about his what? Nah, that was just gay. There was no, there was no ball this way. There was no way, yo. That was fucking no way. Ain't no way. I think you like boys. Motherfuckers are asleep the whole time. Now motherfuckers want to get active. Whoa, outside console. Hey, low key, low key. You know what I just thought about? This about to be the audio members like. All your listeners this might be their favorite episode because there were like no soundboards. All no, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Yo, I mean, finish what you was gonna say. Uh, he was excited was about just, his. D? I was just as excited about his defense as much as his mm-hmm. offense because he was moving differently at Duke. I'm gonna just start saying how he guards players. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. That was crazy. That was so yeah. crazy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> trying to sound it out. Um, See where y'all were going. Defense? Okay. Yeah. That was a crazy was stop, though. It was. But I, it, was, it, was, it was. You it stopped was. on it, pause, and it was like you put an <laughs> eye in there. There's no eye in there. Yes, that, yes, yes. That, that was, that was, was, yeah, that was, was the really mystique. I was about to say it. defense. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Nothing? <laughs> It's like the nigga said dick, but you said, you said half of dick. You was like dick. I did. I did. Just... I did. I did. Ladies and gentlemen, I get the comedic value. We got yeah. him. <laughs> um, my yeah, my um, wow, my. <laughs> <laughs> My takeaway is yeah, Zion looks big. Um, he just, yeah, I, I'm super disappointed. When we talk about disappointing, might be arguably the di- most disappointing player in the past, like 
I know we talk about this person lose, this person lose, this person lose. Man, <laughs> that guy looks terrible. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, just, yeah. Oh. My my mine would be I've been trying so hard to be conservative with my hype on Victor Wembanyama. But like the more and more for the Jazz see, the more and more hyped I get, bro. I ain't gonna lie. What, what's yeah. crazy about Vic is yeah, good. like going into the like coming over from the draft. I just wouldn't assume that Pop like Popovich and Omar being the guy that criticized Pop for like being this old ass coach and oh you're not messing with play messing with players or ah uh, ah. Uh, Yo, Pop is literally putting him in a position to play the style of basketball he is comfortable playing. He's not – like, our own player stories, niggas was complaining about him not getting so many rebounds because he's just defending shots and then running in the break. It's like, bro, he wants to play like that. Pop has him on the perimeter. He's not putting him at center. He has him at power forward. Hell, some of them like he was a small forward. Just allowing him to be on the perimeter and be who he was as we expect him to be and not force him to be something different. I find that alone impressive as fuck when it comes to Popovich because – I ain't gonna lie. Listen, no more. You would have had the perception that he was trying to coach him like WNBA players. I, Look I, at this nigga right here. Oh my Johnson. Oh my I, god. I, I, I was looking. I, I be listening, no more. I'm like, man, I, I I don't watch the Spurs like that. I I didn't know Popovich was like in a box for real. I guess that box is broken because Vic is just playing free. Uh, Vic is nice. Both Watching the Thompson the twins. Both both the Thompson twins. Dead ass are nice as fuck. Not gonna lie. I am really excited to watch Detroit and the Rockets play. And I was excited before the draft. Now I'm definitely excited. They're both fun as fuck to watch. Shout out Brandon Miller. Brandon Miller looks excited. Definitely going to watch a couple of Hornets games this year. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Uh, it, 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 I'm, no, I'm like going. Like, I'm I'm going to be in that bitch because that nigga, LaMelo's already fun to watch. Miles Bridges is back. He's fun to watch. Brandon Miller, sneaky athletic. He's pretty fun to watch. Well, my, I don't think Miles Bridges is, you know, just – no, no, no! With the Chargers thing, those old Chargers, that's that's old stuff. Oh, it's, restraining, it's restraining order stuff. It's not nothing new. It's, no, it's, it's not going. It's not going to keep him off the floor. No, no, it's not. It shouldn't keep him off the court unless they just don't fuck with him. But yeah, no, nah, it shouldn't keep him off the court at all. But uh, that team's looking fun, and yeah, man. Uh, I'm actually gonna address a different thing, man. Hey, Lake Nation, tighten the fuck up. That nigga was pick seventeen, all right? <laughs> he ain't even a fucking lottery pick, dog. Chill on oh, my man J Hood, bro. Nah. Like, can we can we fathom the like the thing the word development? Now obviously there's cause to pause on certain things, 100 percent But yeah, damn. Y'all acting like y'all would have wanted him to play during the fucking playoffs. We could name 15 fucking Lakers right now, and I guarantee you, niggas is not about to sit there and say, Oh yeah, Jay Hood would 100 percent play. I know that because I said I said, Oh, he might fucking play. And Chad was like, No, he's not. Chill out, bro. Chill out, bro. Stage. Only reason why I'm as a Laker fan. Cam Whitmore. Is, is, right? Yes, uh, yeah. because we Cam passed Whitmore. on Cam, Cam. and it's like right, Cam it is right yep. there. I was nervous when it other happened. Other than that, other than that, let me say, I'm not mad at Jay Hood. I j- as of right now, he can't be a point guard. He's not a point guard right now. Yeah, no. Right no. now, he is a no two shot. guard. He shift. I, I like how he shifty he is. He gets to the rim. He's athletic. I, I, there's definitely things I like from him. But and I get you. He's a rookie, so. Development, yeah, for the love of Lord. When you are when you are in nigga, we trying to win now with LeBron and possibly his last year mode. Every nigga wearing purple and gold is a must be no. ready to win player. So that's the, and and with Jay Hood, the people that are overly critical of him, I'm with you on that. Like, yeah. all right, y'all, temper your shit, relax. There are some things where it's like, all right, bro, like I'm watching no, 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 play. No. This nigga's missing wide open, like. Christian went at the top of the key by himself. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This that shit, that shit was, I know exactly like what you're talking about. Yeah, he, like, he beamed to the corner. Nigga, like, fuck dribbles to the corner. I'm like, damn, nigga, you in a hurry. No, no, no. I agree with you there. Do you know what we do? Pack him the fuck up. <laughs> I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, for, I'm for it. It's, it's not, it's, it's nothing personal. We are in win now mode. That's fine. But I just need Laker Nation to chill the fuck out. Like, some people calling him a bus. He's pick 17. Now the fuck he's a bus. Like, chill out, bro. Chill hey, out, nigga. This... Did you see who was going off in Miami? Yeah. Did you did you see who was going off oh, Miami? No, yeah. fucking Cole Swider, bro. Bitch uh, ass Cole Swider. Cole no, fucking I was the inside joke. Grand combo Cole Swider. Thirty from Cole Swider. For y'all of you that don't know, the first Atlanta trip, two K twenty three drops. Sage cops it. 
We are sitting there. I'm, I forced him basically to do a Lakers rebuild right there right. with the new errors mode. We're looking at the Lakers roster. I'm like, ah, wallahi, our season's cooked. Not only do we have Westbrook, but look at these bum ass rookies. Sage, bro, come on, man. Troy Brown, cool. Malik Beasley, cool. Are you shit? Hey, man. I mean, who, this cold swat. Hey, swat a shooter. I'm like, yo, he's never going to fucking play. He's a bum. Lo and behold, cold swat don't play for us. Gets cut, goes to Miami, drops fucking 30. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Damo was up 3 1 in this debate, y'all. Damo was up 3 1 like shit. That's why we ain't talking about it. Now that Cole Swatter hooping, Damo. <laughs> What's good? I will say, I will say, I will say, Max Christie was cool. Max Christie is yeah, cool. Yeah, Max Christie. Max Christie. Cool. Max Christie Agreed. school, and I said that back then. I was like, I, I, I don't mind Christie. We need a guard. But yeah. who is this Friday nigga? What is he about to do for us? Apparently, fucking Duncan Robinson. And we just didn't know. Because fucking Darvin Ham the tech. You know what? I'm not about to get into it. Are we, oh, dog, the the six three, the are, six are we dogpiling on? Lineups? Oh. Are we dogpiling on Damo's takes? Oh, because uh, oh, and I like Bichon too, but that was crazy, and I ain't gonna lie. Taylor Carter, on the other hand, fuck. <laughs> Taylor Carter that just lost to the Jets. That Jalen Carter, they couldn't get to Zach Wilson. Oh, Ooh, are, we, are we talking about this? I, I, I was talking to Sage. Sage brought up Jalen Carter. I was talking to Sage about Jalen Carter. I was indifferent on it. I told him not to complain. Okay. I didn't say that was our pick. I told I didn't him say not to complain. was better than Jalen Carter. All I said was, I get what the Falcons are doing. They're stacking the deck with offensive weapons, which I don't mind. Mind you, we drafted you high just to split. Um, with your Max. thousand yard, your thousand yard running back from last oh, year. Oh, yeah. yeah. they're, they're ratioing you, Domo. They say he didn't even play the Jets. Damn. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh my God. They didn't even play the Jets. No, he, said he, did, he said Jalen Carter didn't play in that oh, game. He, oh, he didn't play that game. Damn. I, th- I thought I thought he I thought he didn't either. It, it was the first half and it was quiet. Um, I want to watch before for to, to promise you because I just don't think people understand what I'm saying when I when I say this. You got clip. Oh, it's Zion. I bet. I was was this the pick and roll defense? No, I mean this is just all of it. Just I just want y'all to look and Man, see how. Big. Okay. <laughs> okay. How he's now, mind you. Now, mind you. Year one Zion. This is, that. Yeah, this is a dunk. That. He's going over the top. All this. All right, what bro. happened to the game, my love? Bro. I ain't trying to be on his head, but nah, he's punching that. And it's he's preseason, so we could always, you know, but just look at this run back. Warm his legs up. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fat <laughs> run back. This is, come on now. A fat run back? <laughs> that Domo. Dick so, that's dick so <laughs> Look at his head. <laughs> <laughs> that like, he looked like Drewski. He looked like Drewski. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the type of nigga to stay in his own bin. <laughs> Oh my god, that was a fat run back. All right, this is his look. His thing is just be in the middle. Uh, he don't even get high no more. He's oh, he <laughs> he really All right, here we go. Crazy. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah, just uh, have him draw the double. I, you know, oh, hey, so like, he, he drawing doubles because he's fat. Like, this is crazy. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, look at how he's moving. Look at how high. Look how high like, he's getting. Look at how high he's getting. He's not getting high at all. Hey, Len Kyra Lewis. Maybe he's not like as high because he doesn't want to fuck his legs up. I get it, bro. I what get it. Told me about Kyra. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh. Come on, bro. He ain't got hey, no he juice. on his passing, I see. He ain't, he ain't got no juice off the dribble. Oh, he not, he not off the dribble. Definitely not beating nobody. Mind you, he had, hey, man, Zion was. Zion yeah, he was on his dimes. Yo, there, there was one play. He was guarding the pick and roll, and he legitimately just let the point go let by. Let it go by. Yeah, yeah, just let him go by. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's not that highlight. I could put. I could pull that highlight up because that's he, the one he, I was trying to find good. it earlier, bro. That was that's the, he doesn't that look bad, as bro. bad as he at least from what I'm seeing in this choppy film, he does not look as bad. That's not a dunk. This is not a dunk on. I say there's in two the times where I know he's dunking that where he ain't dunking here, but other than that, he ain't that. So bad. then all right, he's so then to get his we, legs warmed up, man. So if we go to the season legs where he warmed up. If we go to the season where he averaged 27, are you about to tell me he didn't lay the ball up that season? Like, what are we doing? No, I hey hey, if you don't see how he look big, this, this that Blake Griffin transition, man, straight from Yemen to I'm gonna just lay it up. And year two oh, is crazy no. though. 
It's not year oh, two. I it's hated that arrow on, blade. No, bro. it's that on them, man. No, I do not need that. Because because blade four, started five. taking middies, bro, it and is. that shit pissed me the fuck. If you don't dunk the fucking ball, blade. Because he kept getting hurt. Oh, now, I, I, now, I, 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 I feel like niggas be bust. Oh no. I feel like niggas be forgetting that this isn't two K with injuries off. Niggas do hurt themselves trying to dunk. Demar Derozan went on film, like went on the podcast and was like, they asked him, "What's a play where you like hurt yourself and people didn't realize it?" It was one of them dunks where it was like he dunked on two people or dunked on somebody for the game, whatever it was. Nigga broke his wrist in that dunk and just kept playing through it. Didn't grimace, did nothing, and you wouldn't know. And a nigga as big as Zion, I promise you him constantly jumping and dunking everything, everything in the rim, that shit has a toll on your legs. Sometimes it's better to just lay that bitch up. Be so I don't know if I could find it because I can they scrapped that shit already. Yeah, they took that shit off. That shit was that that was one of the ones that I saw that was like, oh, that's bad. Yeah. Um, super final thing. Y'all, y'all seen Miss Clark? Cause this is I'm excited about basketball for this. I'm keeping up with uh college basketball this season. Oh, Miss College basketball. Filling out the stadiums. Yeah, I've damn, seen that shit blew bad. me. Oh, this is a football stadium. That's Sage. a football stadium, Sage. Damn, yeah, I peep, I peep the grass. Them motherfuckers doing that. Okay. And it sold out fifty five thousand. Big Iowa. Now, okay. ask yourself, who the fuck is at the Paul? Nobody, but and now when you say the answer, realize this motherfucker sold out a football stadium to watch her play the ball. ball. <laughs> and ain't nobody else on her team too. The other, the other star players. It's just uh, Caitlin Clark. Yeah, they graduated too. I go Lotto. L idea. Um, let me go to the other half. Do you see these fucking shadows? Oh that's yeah, shit. that's not cooking. That is not I was cooking. On the court. Yeah. Close yes, stadium, terrible. close stadium, close stadium. You know that glare is crazy. That is crazy. Mind you, I'm, think about shooting in. Yeah, I'm not a direction. hooper. I'm not a hooper, but there's a reason why I'm not. The sun there's nobody in that right corner. There's nobody in that right corner, right corner, buddy. Hey, you seen that? You seen that? <laughs> oh, nah, man. oh, somebody <laughs> over there. She's just not getting the ball. She don't want the ball. Yeah, really? Yeah. She don't they want the, ball. the shadows. I can't shoot. I can't shoot. Yeah, this was a terrible idea, but. All right, you gotta I do what you gotta do. Though. You gotta do what you gotta do if you're packing it out. So I don't know. I say, I don't is know. that a precaution to them, like uh, such a high demand to watch her play? Or was that just like some yeah, special? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. She, it's so many people that wanted to watch her play. That's crazy. Oh, I thought it was on some like that's, that's I don't know, crazy homecoming shit. Like, wow. uh. It's crazy because I remember the conversations we were having and why I thought the Angel Reese shit was special. And I was like, that's all they need. They just need stars. It's just right now the argument for the WNBA or back then was just, hey, you got to watch it. You got to watch it. But it's my question was always, OK, fair enough to these basketball fans. Who and why? Now you got your who. And that's all you needed, bro. Now, I will say, Omar, before they start, so they won't call you a panderer. Um, you need to put like some black woman playing basketball up there too, because you know the fan, the 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 real old, the the real heads of women's basketball are going to be like, she's only getting this kind of coverage because she's white. So oh, the only reason we're showing her is because she's white. Yeah. That's a crazy way to put. I did not in my mind. I didn't think that's how they did it. In my head, I thought they were like on the fifty horizontal. I didn't think they did these motherfuckers vertically at the end zone. That's crazy. That's, that's why I pulled it up. I was like, I didn't. That's, I a, did that. that's why that bitch looked filled. That's why it was just, it was just the area over there behind the end zone. No, apparently they still sold fifty five mm-hmm. in the Who stadium. The fuck sat on the other uh, side. I don't know, drama. Zone. I have no clue. Yo, she must, yo, Caitlyn yo, going crazy. Yeah, I'm about to tell you right now. Caitlyn is she's fucking majestical as niggas me, out bro, there. At the gas station right here. Think he in the Drewski video? <laughs> yeah, I got bro. Samsung phones on that end. Okay. <laughs> That nigga sitting at the other end behind the fucking field goal post is he? Yo, you're there for the love of the game. No, you're there. You're there for the vibes. You're there for the vibes. I'm here to wait. wait, wait, I found it. This is when they were. uh, It's crazy. They started to fill in. They started to come in there. People are actively on this side. You know, being gone. Yeah, I'm not no nah, fuck fuck all the way over there. I'm not excusing anybody on that right. right yeah, right where your mouse is. I ain't Nigga, excusing past nobody the right 50 there. Fifty is Dang. like insane. Past the fifty is insane. I constantly look at the game and like you this. realize this just knows. What and, there's there's no, no, shit. and there's and there's no like fat ass <laughs> team. You know yeah. what I'm so you're what watching the you there so for? Basically, basically, the people at the other end of the end zone in the in, in the you nose. Know one of got bad eyesight. They're too. watching the TV. <laughs> On the other end of the field, they're watching that TV on the other opposite oh side. My God. That's crazy. That's aura. That's aura for a lightning. Go watch. Hey, 
Mm. Hey, but if you go on Twitter, they're gonna say it's because you're white. They wouldn't do that for a black girl. Just I've been kidding. watching the WNBA finals. Um, fuck the Liberty. I ain't gonna lie. Fuck Sabrina. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and start your stream, man. We'll get up out of here. Yes, yes, right, yes, right, yes, right, yes, yes, right. yes. On Twitch. You that is kind of that is kind of yeah. niggas is watching off the strength in, in the... oh shit was that, that? Was, was that Caitlin? Yeah. Was that Definition Caitlin? A friend of the show. Oh no god. Was that Caitlin? <laughs> oh shit. Nah, fucking pathetic. Hey, what was Omar, that Caitlin? Is that, no, you, you see you seen that uh, Joe Budden's face I was talking about, huh? <laughs> oh my you. gosh. <laughs> Just lurking. <laughs> yeah. Sitting in the sitting in there, listening in. Beats in them are nuts. If we ever that I, I Loki, that's, that's that parasocial shit. If we ever get to the point where we're doing that, like niggas is hosting space. Well, I think Omar, I think Omar meant this. You know, I'm gonna come up here and just bust it up. Hey, stop talking about me like this. <laughs> get outside. Joe's in there for for a calm three, calm three hours. Okay. Oh, Was he really? Felt like it. I oh know. my! I can't God. confirm. I wasn't there for three hours, so. <laughs> <laughs> Damo, you good? Oh shit! Uh oh! Not let me go live. Uh uh oh uh, oh! Uh, I'd usually tag in, but I've been fighting sleep since I got here. I got the itis bad, man. Mm. And I still gotta go to the gym. I went to I got to a twenty four hour gym. I went there. Uh, what was that last night? And nobody was there. I text my girlfriend. She was like, "I'll oh, just go in." No, this is. <laughs> <laughs> Most you know scary yeah. movie. Also, it's thirty six yeah. degrees in Iowa. What the fuck did they have these Ooh. women doing? Oh no 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 no. Sage don't like cold weather now. Thirty six. Thirty six ain't bad. I ain't gonna lie, chat. While while we're waiting for Damo, random random thing Omar mentioned, Jim. Evolution in terms of manhood is getting off the machines. I'm not gonna lie. I used to be a machine guy. Used to used to do a little bullshit. Hey man. Get on the dumbbells. Get, get on the dumbbells, man. Get, get, get in the deep water. Get in the deep water. I used to. I just transferred. I've just been converted. I just recently converted, man. Damo, did, did you start your stream? Oh, you could have told us. What the fuck? Ah. I was we were chatting. Chatting right. this bitch. I ain't going to lie to you. We were, we were just chatting. I was going to go on on how Logan Paul proved wrestling's better than boxing. Oh, <laughs> I was going <gonna, laughs> to just start saying shit, bro. Oh, I got my vest in for my wrestling match too, so I'm gonna announce those. Bro, dates. I need to. I need to do wrestling or basketball lessons. I I keep flaking on that. That'd be fire for the channel. I need to. I'm do down it. to Atlanta. Let me pin you. Um. All right, guys, we're getting up out of what? here. <laughs> all right, we started the race right fire. now, chat. Go check out Appreciate my guy, John. Wamo. God damn. Yeah. <laughs> did you Did you do it? Nah, I don't know how to really raid for. I thought when you raided it, um. Took us from one channel to the next, but that may be as a watcher. Not yeah, as a watcher. You did a, yeah, yeah. As All right, so I'm out. Sorry, done. All right, be sorry, y'all. I did a. Uh, oh shit! Are we, is it off? Yeah, 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 it is. I did a raid. The recording's it, not done though. 